Welcome to Permanently Geeks Commentary Time. This is my accent. But it's not. What is my real accent? Is this my real accent? You don't know at home. You have no idea. I don't even know. I've known you for like a decade and I still don't know. You still don't know my accent. Changes hey, my accent changes. Man, you know, mystery. Back in the day when I, I used to work at Best Buy and actually I would, every, like every other day I would change my accent just to mess with people. We call him the man of a dozen <laughs> voices. <laughs> The man of, them of he's the man of four voices, <laughs> distinct, stereotyped, offensive as hell, and Yoda, and Variations Yoda. Of Yoda. Which I mean, for all we know, my Yoda is offensive to Yoda. I'm pretty sure it is, because <laughs> who knows? I mean, that could be like like that could be an I'll offensive. Be Yoda's are like, that, that bastard, the famous one. He just talks goofy. We <laughs> speak normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> welcome to commentary time folks good to have you back good to have you back good to have you here for the first time good to have you oh and we have you <laughs> hopefully we have you the film we have today is is the sixth film in the star wars uh saga that film is the Re- return of the jedi we're Speaking gonna be doing chronologically of course yeah. third in release order. third in release order sixth total <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to be doing a commentary but, for but Return of the Jedi. In, first in our hearts, or probably second. It's probably yeah, second. second. It's in... my second favorite, yeah, I would say. Yeah. I, I like Empire a little bit more, but um, this one, this, it's, this is a good one, because it's a conclusion. A conclusion to a story is always good. True, and it's got dancing teddy bears. Yeah, yeah, it does. There's Care Bears in it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, if yeah. you've listened to these commentaries before, you, you kind of know the... You know the spiel, but basically you can uh, you can sync the movie up. Uh, we have the Blu-ray queued up to uh, about five seconds in. The 20th Century Fox logo is up. Um, you don't have to watch uh, the movie. You can also just listen along and, and enjoy us podcast style. Half the time we're not even actually talking about the movie, it's so true. you might enjoy it more if we're not interrupting. <laughs> these these Star are more Wars. a little comedy <laughs> focused, so. Um, uh, yeah, so if you want to if you want to put in the digital version, the DVD, the Blu-ray, if you've got like a laser disc, you want to put that in. Um, we won't be able to account for you having to flip sides on the laser disc, but <laughs> <laughs> just pause it, flip the laser disc when, when the time comes. You can if you got this on Betamax, uh, you know, feel free to pop it in. Uh, we'll see if it syncs up. I have no just idea. Pop it in. Um, just pop it in. Just pop just it in. Pop it right that in there. Sounds so dirty. <laughs> Um, and in just a pop, moment, pop. <laughs> in just a moment, we're going to press play and you will press play if you decide to watch. If not, don't press anything uh, because then the commentary will stop if you press play because you've already pressed play. So, all right, folks, you ready? You ready, Alex? Mm-hmm. Um, sitting, yeah, I didn't even introduce us. I'm Randy, by the way. Um, sitting next to me is Alex and Michael McFarland. Boom. There we go. All right, folks, in three, two, one, we're going to start. So get your remote in your hand. Get your loved one next to you, strip down, or put clothing on. Get I have no idea. Get your loved one in your hand. Get, get your, your loved one. Next to you. Rub some Nutella on each other and sit back for a sensual evening of comments and whatever this movie is. <laughs> Star Wars or something. Star Wars? <laughs> Star Wars. Star, Star Wars sounds like a Star movie Wars. about like Microsoft's beginning. Star Wars. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to be making movies about computers anymore after the Jobs film like failed miserably at the box office. Oh, but... I heard it was actually pretty good. Oh, too. so did I. Mm. People who are listening don't care, though. so <laughs> Because they didn't see it. <laughs> Apparently nobody else did either. People who weren't listening didn't yeah. care. See, that was one of those movies that I decided, like, there's no reason to see that in a the theater. Yep, I'll watch that was it, exactly... Like... It should have been a VOD title. Yeah, yeah. should have like... been, like, on Netflix and in theaters, like, for a week or two. I, you then... know, Aaron Sorkin films and shows, they're all dialogue-driven. And, well, you know, they might be solid cinematography. You don't need to see... Uh, the actors 200 feet tall to enjoy them. Yeah. And if you have a theater with 200 feet, foot tall screens. Yeah, yeah. All right, in three, two, one, we're going to start this. Return of the Jedi audio commentary, Permanently Geek. Three, two, one. one. Play has been pressed. The 20th Century Fox logo is up. We're now eight seconds in, nine seconds, ten. The sky's moving in the background. It's faded. Lucasfilm's logo so what, is what, here. What we'll do, as per usual, is we're going to, you know, kind of. Comment on this movie, make fun of it, have a good time with it. Um, hope you all enjoy, and if you don't, I'm sorry. And uh, and again, in case you haven't watched it before, we're watching without the sounds. We're going on subtitles. Uh, shall we rock, paper, scissors to see on. who gets to read the crawl this time? Oh, it's almost too late. Oh, um, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Then I'll do oh, no. it. All right, Michael's got it. You got this. <laughs> do this. Do it up.
Episode VI. Vores er det en om. <laughs> Return of the Jedi. Kan jeg se, hvor langt der er ting? Luke Skywalker. Hvor langt er det? 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 Hvor Even more powerful Marathon than the first end. dreaded Death Star. When, when, completed, Death Star. <laughs> when completed, this ultimate weapon <laughs> will spell certain doom <laughs> for a <laughs> small band of Got rebels Dwayne the Rock Johnson. struggling to <laughs> restore freedom to Dwayne the Rock Got Johnson, do. also known as the Galaxy. By the end on the Galaxy. <laughs> so it took me a paragraph to figure out if you were like, wow, does Randy speak some language I don't know? <laughs> Or is this just like gibberish racism? I think, I think he speaks I, Greedo. I hope that's not racist. I don't, I don't know. It sounded, I mean, honestly, it sounded like halfway between what Greedo speaks and Hut Ease. So. Yeah, well, I was trying to speak like a fake Star Wars language. Yeah, there you go. Um, I Wait, really wasn't going for anything they're like. fake? They are fake. What? Well, except for um, Chewbacca's language. That's okay. The, that's the language of all. Um, that's the language of love. That's the language of, uh, of love among bears. Mm. <laughs> And not not like animal bears, but human <laughs> wait, bears. Wait, are we talking about like like growler bears? <laughs> like like yeah, okay. like growler bears. <laughs> Gro- Gro- for those of you not familiar, uh, growler is like Tinder, but for um, large hairy homosexual men. Boom. Or those seeking them. And this is Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. You know, still don't get why they wear the silly hats inside. Why are they inside. wearing the hats inside? That's nope. the language I was speaking that you just saw on the screen there. Some funny text I for see. you folks who I are just see. podcasting this. Oh, look at that. You know, I, I really love this movie. Um, now, how... how uh, not, not having the original to compare this to, uh, is any of that redone... Like like digitized and CG'd up for this these? is this or is that all, all just like amazing model building. Really, um, they're actually mostly matte paintings. If you look, you can kind of tell it's matte painting, mm-hmm. but it's it's really really well done. I just saw um, a video about like a bunch of like you know weird facts you probably didn't know about Star Wars, and Steven Spielberg was going to direct Return of the Jedi. And the only reason why he didn't, um, like he was gearing up for it. The only reason why he didn't was um, it was a, I believe a non union production. And he's part of the Directors Guild and, and wasn't allowed to do it. Really? Um, so imagine a world where Steven Spielberg would have directed <laughs> Return of the Jedi. <laughs> like, I like Return of the Jedi, but holy shit, the Steven Spielberg version would have been so much better. Yeah. I would also like to watch this with the notion, because I, I also saw a, a, an interview recently where Luke, uh, Luke Skywalker, where Mark Hamill <laughs> mentioned no, that No, it was he, actually Luke Skywalker. He kind of actually played his role in this movie as though he had already turned to the dark side. Um, he didn't really tell Luca, George Lucas that that's what he was intending to do, um, but that he kind of plays it like a- after the events of Empire, the dark side kind of has him. Um, he's not a full, like, you know, card-carrying member of the dark side, but um, definitely has um, that element in him, and the, the conflict of the dark side uh, is sort of fused with him now. Huh. Um I've seen a lot of people, you know, a lot of people speculating whether you know, we this we recorded this prior to the release of Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, Electric Boogaloo, and uh, uh, so we don't know yet whether Luke is a good guy or a bad guy. All we know is that they've just been keeping him away from all, uh, pretty much all promotion. There's been no Luke outside of like a hand touching r2d2 which we're of course presuming it's the metallic hand which is uh, you know which is really funny because there's an equally like equally uh an equal lack of r2d2 and c3po which i, I haven't seen any articles being like is c3po evil in this <laughs> he's, one? Turned the, he's turned to the not shiny side <laughs> we know he has a red arm from from promotional materials i, but. I hope that we see like a, a face-off between r2d2 and bb8 you're like hey you replace me as the adorable droid i i've seen a lot of memes going around pointing out that the death star and r2d2 that bb8 might be the child of r2d2 <laughs> and, the death star. and like there's that wow. scene in the very first wow, wow. in the in, in a new hope where the where the <laughs> the thing goes in and like actually communicates yeah 
That's when they made a BB-8. BB-8. <laughs> I really kind of hope that isn't the case. Because, God, that'd be so stupid. <laughs> oh. We just, there was a deleted scene here. Uh, at the very beginning of the film, before uh, you see C-3PO and R2-D2, there was a scene where you see Luke in a cave uh, building his lightsaber. Um uh, which is an awesome little scene. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it, it's kind of a shame they left that one out, because I've seen that scene before, and it, it adds a nice little context to, you know, well, he lost the lightsaber when he lost the hand, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah. And and so, you know, he had to get a new one somehow. There was a lot of uh, debate about this film. This was one of the first ones that, like, uh, the producer of this film will kind of talk about how George Lucas became really corrupted by the time this one came around. And did he turn to the dark side? He kind of did because he was like, he was really focused on selling toys. And so mm. like, you know, they, he kind of kept mentioning like, oh, we got to have the Care Bears in this and stuff like that, which is why like there are Ewoks and... Um, really? I, I mean, the Ewok... I, I, to me, yeah, that's I mean, a tribute I... to his genius because on many levels... The Ewoks are something that, like, you love as a kid. Mm -hmm. You kind of, when you become an adult, you're like, okay, those, those were stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, but... it's, it's the, that's the whole thing with, uh, um, I don't know if, if you guys uh, watch How I Met Your Mother, but one of Barney's tests for age was the uh, the Ewok thing, mm -hmm. where he would ask how, how a girl feels about Ewoks, and if she, you know, dislikes them, then she's, you know, too old, because if she's <laughs> yeah. younger, they you know, when she was growing up watching yeah. them, they, they reminded her of her teddy bears. So, uh, so, I mean, there, there's a definite appeal to children there. I always loved this character. Bib Fortuna Ooh. is his name. Mm -hmm. I yeah, just thought he was shit. fascinating. I always thought he'd make a good, uh, like, Star Wars character for, like, like a, like a Jedi or, or a, um, a Sith Lord. Because he's just so terrifying Yeah, I kind of like that they made an entire race out of, like, the Elephant Man. Well, <laughs> he kind of looks like E.T. a little bit with the shape of his head. Uh -huh. But then, like, this is, like, maybe, like, the female version of the E.T. creature. And this is, like, the <laughs> dick. <laughs> like, this is the dick and, like... Or E.T.'s a girl and this is, like, the boy version of E.T. with his, like, <laughs> giant penis just hanging off of his head. That had to be awful to have, like, that prosthetic had to be really heavy and, like, uh, just just really cumbersome to work with. The the glistening, like, jowls of the Gamorrean pig guards yeah. always, like, made me a little queasy, too. That's some, that's some good use of Vaseline on the those. The Gamorrean pig guards, which seem to be the, the influence for Ganon of the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, yeah uh, I can see Because yeah. Ganon looks exactly like a Gamorrean guard. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. And here we go. This is the fully realized version of the Cantina from uh, New Hope. Oh, now yeah. with the budget and the time and the energy, they're able to really put together yep. what George sort of always envisioned, which was something a little bit grimier and a lot more diverse with the different aliens that that are here. Mm -hmm. But he still wasn't pleased because later on he was like, you know what? I'm going to put a musical number in this scene. <laughs> right. Well, that, that was characters. what I thought. That was what I thought you were referring to was the uh, the re CG like. You know, uh, I can't remember. It's like Zoot something. Or... <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you know. Yeah, I, I do not recall at this point, but I remember the first time I saw it in the. In the Whoa, Luke edition. Skywalker's tall as shit. Whoa, hey there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like nine feet tall. He's like towering over. I'm Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. And I just episode. got my hair done. I know that you are a powerful mighty Jabba. Whatever, no big deal. I love that <laughs> little guy. Ugh. The little. Little guy that sits next to Jabba is just adorable. <laughs> he, he always reminded me of sort of <laughs> like a adorable. ragged little Chihuahua. Yeah, I had like, a I had a friend who had a Chihuahua that was like I, I think a thousand years old <laughs> with these like like milky cataracts and oh eyes. I know I I've met and the dog of which you speak. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, that, uh, that thing you, was terrifying. If you look at it, you could see how you were going to die. <laughs> you give that dog a beak, and it looks like you like look that into its eyes. Is. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see the past, present, and no, future. No God, that thing was one. terrifying. It's I, it passed <laughs> away at this point, right? Oh. I can't imagine it was long for this world, or it's just going to live forever. Like he's not Jedi. Hmm. Yeah. Some dogs, uh, uh, actually, my <laughs> this is total tension. My, like my Let's my talk about dead dogs now. My Enough about Star Wars. My uncle, like he went in, he one day he came into the um, he came, they had this they had this dog that was like twenty six years old, like the dog had like well longer than it should have, and he goes in and he goes, it was it slept in the bathroom and that's all it did. It just slept in the bathroom and one day he goes in and it's it's dead. And so he, he picks it up and he brings it out and he, he so he begins to bury the, the hole 
uh, or begins to dig the hole and like to put the to bury the dog and then all of a sudden he turns over and the dog's like alive again <laughs> <laughs> he was like the dog was dead it was legit dead he's like I, I touched it i was you know and it lived like another two years <laughs> It's because like, he's like, you're going to put me in a hole, you jerk. You dick, I'm back, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he lived a really long time, that dog. So here we are, R2-D2, going into the cell, and we're going to find the... There he is! Oh, There's Gonk! Gonk. No, Gonk, Gonk don't go! Android. Oh, why would oh, they do Gonk. that? This, okay, uh, so does this mean that droids feel pain? Cause... No, because he's just shooting that out of his legs. <laughs> you can see that it's just uh-huh. coming out of his feet. Oh, no, but but I'm saying like, why would you just randomly apply like hot, like like red hot metal to the feet of a droid that then makes like terrible noises? Yeah, I can't the, imagine that actually hurts them. This one over here is being like torn apart. So like, I'm saying it looks like we're we're looking at a droid some torture kind of chamber. Droid but... sexual torture chamber. <laughs> I always like this. This uh, robot droid freaks sex me dungeon. out. The, the droids are so cumbersome, and they're like they're not really very functional droids like, at all. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. most of them can barely move. Wasn't that? Isn't that like a medical droid they're tearing yeah. apart too? Like why would you tear apart a medical droid? Maybe Did he it... diagnosed Job of the Hut being overweight. <laughs> 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 you are gently overweight, and Jabba's waka like, waka no ko diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a smashed R2 in the background. Oh. You, yeah. you little shit. <laughs> I'm going to point at you funny and move cumbersomely. Because I'm on strings. Strings. That, that, <laughs> see, that droid always looked yeah, out of place is... in, in the Star Wars universe. Like, that's yeah. like the Easter yeah. Island droid. <laughs> the Easter Were you going there, too? <laughs> I was just going to say that. There we go. Oh, there the she musical is. number. Oh, my Isn't God. Isn't that the chick that Captain Kirk kept banging in different episodes? Yeah, well, this one has... This one has um, uh, yeah, you know, but still. Things. Like, oh maybe she had him removed before, you know. This is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yep. She had him removed by the time she got to the future. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh that looks terrible. It looks I know. fucking horrible. Oh, wow. so bad. It doesn't match at all. Yeah. Yeah, it the, moves the completely here. different. I absolutely hate this. Yeah, this, this is... actually for me is the worst of the um, uh, of the special editions. Mm. Return of the Jedi is the worst, one. and specifically oh, this part yeah. right here. <laughs> It, like the the way what it is didn't the, look the, good before. I won't lie. I liked I like the elephant, which they didn't change the elephant. What the they, blue but, elephant in the background. Like what they do with the CG lips, it almost looks like all of this was intended to be in 3D. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's like in 3D. Here are some prosthetic lips on this weird slug beast. They like change the song. They, I I I mean like she didn't that character didn't really work great. It mm. it did look really fake, but my god, this looks more fake. Oh, it yeah. looks so much more fake. This is so bad. Yeah. Cuz it doesn't blend at all with this universe. Like, you know, CG, a lot of people, you know, don't like CG. I like CG. I think CG is great. Um, well, I it's think just, the thing it's about just gotta CG be is when it's done right, you don't realize it's yeah. CG. Like that's the thing is, it's it's only when when they miss it's their mark. Only when that it you looks notice. like this. Yeah, exactly. But like, exactly. yeah, model works. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like this creature here looks great at times, and then at other times when you see this creature, um, which I actually don't think we're gonna see right here, but. Like the when you see this creature here that's down there that's gonna kill this girl like right the rancor it, the rancor it does not always <laughs> look great no um, I mean it's it's a little bit jerky like you'll have with you know but, classic stop motion animation it looks a little jerky but but like you know it 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 functions well mm-hmm. um, if you were to make that CG it would move too smooth and it would have kind of a weirdness to it that you know I you know it both both techniques have their have their place right. I like how Chewie Chewie got a new haircut. Mm -hmm. Or he looks a little bit disheveled here. He's like, well, he's got this this thing where his hair is now coming like kind of over his brow a little bit, Mm -hmm. and like he'll have that for like the rest of the movie. Yeah, he's got like the center part going, like a twenties gangster. Yeah, Chewie got like a new look for this movie. Yeah, because before he'd been like slicking straight back like a eighties Wall Street dude. Now he's got the I don't know why like jazz age gangster center part going. I don't know why in the new movie they didn't give him like gray hair. Like he has more like gray hair. (laughs) Well, how long? long Starts going bald a little bit, (laughs) (laughs) but just around the nipples because that's how. (laughs) (laughs) Just like. Nipples. <laughs> he's learned how to talk a little bit and it's terrifying 
<laughs> He's like, oh, I'll show you. And you're like, oh, it's terrifying. Oh, no, I don't want you to talk. It's cuter when he doesn't talk. Oh, my God. I love the guy that plays Boba Fett. There's a picture of him somewhere. If you Google online, you look up. Um, the guy who plays him has, like, a porn star stash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. I mean, like a you saw, you saw he was pimping yeah, he, on those ladies right there. He's yeah. like, hey girls, hey girls, want to see my mustache later? Why I might he, take off the helmet. Like, why is he still there? That's like, why? What the fuck has <laughs> Boba Fett been doing? I mean, this is like, this is probably like uh, several weeks later. After oh, I, I think, think it's like years. I was later. gonna say I thought this was like six months to a year after yeah, the, like, the events. It's, it's a while after. Let us know in the comments if you know. But. Um, it's it's a while after. So like, what's is just Boba Fett just been like chilling? Oh, like, job, have, like why would you that... want I, this is this is the kind of thing i'd want to like go here and like get out mm-hmm. i'd be like here's han solo thank you for the money uh you smell like a farts fart so well, i'm gonna I go a, <laughs> i i had the feeling that that jabba was one of his major employers because you know he's, he's a bounty hunter and i have mm-hmm. a feeling like jabba in some ways i almost feel like like boba probably acts as a bit of like a repo man for him mm-hmm. like you know taking care of the he's the um, emilio estevez of this <laughs> <laughs> The mighty duck man himself. <laughs> you ever see Repo Man? I have, yes. Repo Man's a crazy movie. You haven't seen it, folks, at home. Um, Not to be confused with Repo the Genetic Opera, no. which is also a crazy it's, it's movie. It's also but, crazy. But very, very different. Very, very different. Also absurd, though. Absurd as hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Lando looking fly, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like. Yeah. I do like the the mask that he's got on there. Like the the like face plate, whatever you call that, mm-hmm. the face guard for that. It's a. Uh, it's got a pretty. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool look to it. I also read that they they shot that scene with Yoda. That's that's coming up after all this. <clears throat> that was shot just to clarify that Darth Vader really is Luke's father because people didn't believe it and so <laughs> they like literally shot the yoda scene that we'll see in, a, in like about 10 minutes <laughs> which is kind of funny should have been just like george lucas you believe what i tell you <laughs> you <laughs> sheep Look, this is what i said in the last movie <laughs> you're it's gonna true. buy toys for it thousands of toys beep, uh, beep, boop robots isn't that what you want <laughs> they just I, they just put out more toys i was at target the other day to have more uh force awakens toys which is kind of yeah exciting. anything cool um, well, there was a, like, gargantuan, um, TIE fighter, like, the First Order, which is, like, the, kind of the villains of the story. Right, right, right. The, the there's, like, like white a big... TIE fighter, to, well, the white wings on the TIE fighter? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a, that was really cool looking. It was, like, $250. Yeah, you know. Um, there were a bunch of character toys that I saw for characters I hadn't seen yet, and I, I don't even know their names, because they're all just, like, new characters. Right, right. Um, which is so cool to see all these, like... They're really not selling the classic characters at all yet. They're just sort of like, <laughs> here are all the new characters. Get used to them. Um, you buy this stuff even though you don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, had a fr- I had a friend who went as who went as uh, Finn for uh, uh, for for Halloween, and I, I kind of I guess you know I'm like I'm sure the characters would be funny, but it's be bad if it's like he's the Jar Jar. <laughs> you, <laughs> you just went as Jar Jar picture for... in ten years, be like, oh, it's, it's gonna be like looking at pictures of yourself from the '80s. It's always <laughs> embarrassing. I always love this effect of Han Solo melting out of the carbonite. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really make any sense, but it's still cool looking. Not really, but you know, it's still it's still a neat effect. When I was a kid, I used to kind of pretend what it was like to come out of carbonite. You know, <laughs> like one of those things when like you 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 know, you just sort of like daydream imagine. And I I used to just like, you know, sit there in my room, little, little like, you know, 8-year-old Randy or whatever. And I don't know how. As your parents was. discuss, like, what do you think is wrong with him? He's, what is carbonite? What is it? <laughs> Why is he like frozen? See, actually, I, I was like kind of older. I was like ten or. The whole like thing with with him being blind, like at first, kind of freaked me out because I always pictured because I, you know, I, I I knew enough about the human eyeball to know that there's liquid inside there. Yeah. I imagine that everything thought out except the goo inside his eyeballs. So there were just uh. these like frozen spheres in there I think that, that were hurt. slow i know like it's when you think about it, it's like oh my god that's awful like he can't see because he's got these like ice spheres in his luke, eyes spheres. <laughs> i wanted him to say luke there so like, luke so they make out <laughs> i love you luke chewbacca, <laughs> chewbacca. there's a lot of people i always love loved you chewy sometimes i forget that did you it's shave? nice to hear it did you shave speaking hot ease where i have the subtitles on so some of the stuff is lost but oh my god 
there's like something like six people inside of Jabba right now, like operating Jabba. He was like one of the largest puppets at the time ever constructed. I I, I won't lie, as as much as Jabba kind of looks cool, he also sort of looks like a puppet. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're probably gonna there's probably gonna be people who like you know who really have the nostalgia for this, but it's not to be offensive to it. It's just it does it. A lot of this does look like puppetry, and some of that's cool, and some of it, some of it, you know. It's just if like they did the, visual effects now for it, like if, if you know, George Lucas, like when he put out the the DVDs of the special edition on, you know, on DVD, they he did tweak some of the CG to make it look better. But then when he put it out on Blu-ray, he didn't tweak any of the CG, which is kind of inexplicable because, huh. yeah, to me, it's like nowadays it'd be so much like if you did CG on some of the stuff it would genuinely look better. Mm-hmm. Um I think I might have heard a rumor that he did dabble with with changing Jabba for these scenes, but I, I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I think I think that it could have worked. I, I think when the special editions first came out, I'm glad that he didn't. But I think in the the like the f- later go arounds, it it might have made sense. Yeah. Again, like, and even if they could have done a few things like the gar gar gar, you know, the the Gamorrean guards are very very clearly dudes in rubber suits. Mm-hmm. Like it would have been cool to see even if a little bit of extra like texture and yeah, yeah, exactly. Like those little textural changes or like little additional facial movements they could have added in to make them look a little bit less like rubber suits. Like, and I, I you know, Aww. I, I do appreciate. <laughs> like, I'm going to give you my old haircut. <laughs> Chewie's just really upset the whole time that conversation. He's like, "Look at my new hair!" And Han's like, "I, I can't, I can't see anything." And Chewie's just like, mm. oh. "I got my haircut." Well, I will show you what my hair used to be like, and then you can imagine. I went to, oh, I went to the best 90s cut. boy band. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear, you know, you see Luke Skywalker. He looks like Darth Vader walking in he's got mm. that that long cloak and he and he uses like he uses he uses the dark side here yeah for real like he's choking him that's a darth yeah, vader move that's right a darth there. vader move yeah i remember seeing that for the first time I'm like is luke a bad guy now that's <laughs> a little bit weird ah uh, here's the first look at the infamous slave leia costume oh and there's a random sabalba they added for the blu-ray yeah just for you know for giggles why not um I keep hearing a rumor that they're phasing out Slave Girl Leia because of, um, you know, it's it's had its time. Now, phasing out is in like they're not going to sell toys of Slave Girl Leia, or they're going to like edit her out of. The no, films? they're just not going to. It's just not the way they want to represent the character anymore. That's I so. Mean, I mean, are is it like just in merchandising, or were, yes, just was in there talk that Carrie Fisher was going to show up? In in the slave girl outfit is like what she wears all no, the time just, in Force Awakens. Whenever you buy a princess, like there are basically like three kinds of Princess Leia character costumes that you can buy. One has to have the cinnamon one, buns. One has like the traditional, like her in the long white garb. One of her is in like the kind of white um, sort of snow outfit that she wears throughout Empire okay. Strikes Back. And then there's this one. And those are the three that basically they sold and that's that's the only leia toys you can pretty much buy there's a few others but that, those are the general ones that you see and um i i think it's just been kind of overused to the point of like okay yeah all right slave girl leia it's it was sexy we all masturbated it, it basically to it and let's just let's just move on together in we the all same masturbated room. together that's actually we're, what's happening we're right masturbating now. right now yep <laughs> Permanently geek sticky headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> we hose it down after every commentary. <laughs> oh my god, it's true. It's all true. Everything we're saying is true. <laughs> every word, every word that we say from now on until the end of the commentary. I mean, even some of his facial expressions are looking super creepy here. Like, yeah, you know, you could picture him rocking out his uh, the Joker voice that he does a lot mm-hmm. now while looking like that. He, yep. he, there was like an interview with him. I, it was just sort of put online not that long ago and from an, a show in the early 2000s. And yeah, you know, he basically said like, oh, I'm going to, uh, I want to play it this way. And he kind of asked Harrison Ford, you know, should I play it dark? And Harrison Ford, should I tell, should I, should I tell George that I want to do that? And Harrison Ford was like, no, don't tell him. <laughs> just do it. Just don't do tell it. him. Because if you tell him, he won't want you to do it. <laughs> um, so just, just tell him. Uh, I just recently Harrison Ford was on, uh, uh Jimmy Kimmel and, uh, very judiciously speaking about George Lucas, uh, when when compared, when asked the somewhat inappropriate question of you know who do you prefer, J.J. Abrams or George Lucas, 
um harrison ford gave a very like ah well i owe i owe george my early <laughs> career so yeah i mean american graffiti uh, american graffiti uh you know han solo indiana jones yep. i owe him a lot um jj's better <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of judiciously worded but that's that was the gist of it um and that's probably because jj will let actors kind of be in a scene and kind of do what they want and develop because he hasn't gotten yeah. paid from J.J. Abrams yet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to say nice guy and nice things about this guy because, well, uh, you know, I haven't gotten paid. Uh, these yet. shots of the Rancor, though, are absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's the shots when the Rancor kind of moves its hand over characters and you see the black line around uh-huh. Around that them. feels like something that they could have fixed in the special edition. Like that feels like the sort of thing. Well, that and they, they did have... fix a lot of it for Empire Strikes Back. They got rid of a lot of lines. They they deleted a lot of like like mat lines and stuff like that. Where um, this one, there's still some pretty heavy mat lines like coming in. They did tweak a little bit though. I think for the Blu-ray, they might have tweaked um, a few of the yeah, lines. Yeah, like like a lot of these shots. Like this is more puppetry than it is stop motion yeah. right here. It's when you see the full body shots of it walking. That's where it starts to get a little bit like herky jerky. Yeah. Um, I think the death scene is one of the the big we ones. We call this where... the Jedi boner. <laughs> you stick a bone he in their mouth. just boned him in the mouth. The Jedi boner. Take it. Take it. Take that boner. <laughs> What is up with everything drooling? <laughs> There's a whole lot of drooling. They got a, they got a discount at Costco on KY Jelly, and they just <laughs> used all of it. All right, guys. On this planet, everything will drool. Everything is drippy. I always like that there's just like a hand, like a, looks to be like a... Like collection of hands? Collection of like arms and hands. Uh, that's, that's actually a pretty creepy detail I'd never yeah. noticed before. The Rancor, like I... I why do they put the Rancor in such a small space? Like, <laughs> like the Rancor can barely even move down here. I think there's like Rancor rights groups. They're like, <laughs> look at the size of the parking lot that Jabba the Hutt has compared to the whole place where the Rancor is allowed that to live. fucking little thing, the Chihuahua thing, has more space than the Rancor. Oh, this is going to lead to death. And Luke picks up a skull and boom, basketball. He LeBrons it. Crush. Oh. <laughs> he LeBrons it. I always feel so bad for the guy who well, like yeah, owns there's, the there's Rancor. The guy who's like crying here when I think there's like actually a story about like I think it's when one of the one of the you know now non-canon Star Wars books has like a whole story about like this guy that guy and, right like, there yeah the, his relationship the with the fat Rancor dude who's just like oh <laughs> no you feel so bad for him shirtless shirtless guy um if you're out there in Internet Land and you find this and you want to come on. A commentary. We'll have you on a random commentary. To, that to you're clarify, not in. the shirtless guy from this movie. Yeah, <laughs> not just any not just shirtless, any shirtless guy. guy on the internet. <laughs> I don't know. That Although, could be pretty. That funny. would be a good I mean... show. <laughs> shirtless guy responds. <laughs> Why are you shirtless? Fuck you! Don't ask any questions like that. I'm waiting for my jazzy to be delivered. What do you got a problem with? It? <laughs> He almost looks like he's Han wearing, moving like, a around all funny coat in this. Like... He does. <laughs> Him and Bradley Cooper's starring in the movie Burnt, which which is really interesting because Bradley Cooper actually recently is was in a movie I, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Burnt, but um, he also did a show called Kitchen Confidential. And I was like, why did he do two things where he plays like a yeah. chef? <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently it's he always wanted to be a chef, and so yeah. he will pretty much accept any role. He's where like, he gets offer to be me a chef. role as a chef, I'll take it. And it's pretty much the same character too, because it's like a you know alcoholic kind of recovering is a cook and is trying all this stuff. So, Bradley Cooper, if you want to be on one of these commentaries, you're listening, and I know you are. Um, let us know. Give us a give us send us an email. Geek at permanently geek. And we've also got a, a short film script about a, a alcoholic chef. Yeah, if, you um, if you're start... interested, uh, we'd love to uh, talk about casting you. We don't have any money. A shirtless fat guy. <laughs> yeah. Co-starring shirtless fat guy. That's good. <laughs> It looks like Jabba the Hutt eats snot because he's got like snot all over his mouth. Mm. <laughs> he's just oh, there's some CG that actually say, might like, be new for this for this Blu-ray. I was gonna say those those I couldn't have all been in there because that's like a dozen and a half elephants they would have had to bring in. This is and one dress that them all up. Uh, I actually like because Darth Vader screams no at the end of this. Like I have not watched the Blu-ray of this, so yeah, because it makes me sad. No, because <laughs> Darth Vader will literally scream no at the end, and it's just sad. The uh, 
I, I do like R2's little uh, drink carrier set up here. Is that a yeah. standard His R2? Lazy oh my surgery. god, how how have I not built a bar that looks like that? Like a, <laughs> like a bar that looks like R2 serving... serving. Oh, that, All right, I know that what I'm shot, spending my next weekend doing. That shot doesn't hold up. <laughs> Be like, just standing in a green screen. I used to live here, you know. He's like, yeah, I know, so did I, Dick. <laughs> or at least <laughs> I hung out in bars. At least, yeah, like, he lived here for at least a little while. I banged some chicks here. <laughs> no, about you. Ooh. No, you didn't. No, that's right. Princess Lay her. That's <laughs> what I used to call her when I was in like sixth grade. Oh, Princess Lay her. I'm so that funny in sixth grade. That was clever. I'm the funniest. Here's a in question: sixth grade. At any point in this series, uh, does so so at the end of this f- film, is Luke Skywalker still a virgin? Talk amongst yourselves. Well, I don't want to talk amongst ourselves because then, <laughs> then people will be like, they just disappeared off the colony for like 10 years. While they well, we're going to pause the recording and have a conversation and get back to you with what we've disco- discovered. Look at that. That looks like fucking shit. Like, why couldn't you fix that, George Lucas? Come on. Yeah. Um, but, well, I mean, he has no love interest outside of his sister. His sister. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm going to go. So unless, unless, you know, when he was the whiny kid talking about going to Tashi Station for power converters. Any power converters. That's is... what I was saying. Is power euphemism. converters a euphemism for. Strippers. Like, yeah. The old or, Ben special. I was going to say, did old Ben ever take. Like, we don't know. There's a possibility before they went to the cantina in uh in moss eisley that that they you know stopped in got the old ben special and moss eisley um, spaceports very dangerous here but uh before we go to the cantina i gotta get the old ben special <laughs> it's kind of my thing hold, hold my the thing. Margarine, boy. if you haven't been following our commentaries uh we've created a sex act for pretty much every movie Yep, we haven't. I mean, I assume that the the, the Sarlacc pit is definitely got to be the name of the sex. Act. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. I'm pretty sure it involves butthole or the dirty rancor. The dirty rancor. <laughs> <laughs> it involves a lot of Vaseline. The drooling rancor. <laughs> the drooling rancor. There we go. <laughs> That's where you get three different people's semen in your mouth, and then you gargle it. While somebody else puts their penis in your mouth. Yeah. As a lubricant. It's basically yeah. a blowjob with Mentos and Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell would the Sarlacc pit be? The Sarlacc pit has to involve an anus because... Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's, yeah. it's basically a spiked anus to begin with. The Sarlacc... Also involves it's, Mentos and Diet Coke. It's, it's anal sex as an endurance sport. I, know, was thinking, stay... like, I was thinking like... I was thinking the Sarlacc... <laughs> It's when someone stands across the room and you try and throw pennies in their asshole. I think the... <laughs> also called the wishing well. I was thinking you have to keep your finger in the asshole the entire time. <laughs> or or you try to keep it in for a thousand years. For a thousand <laughs> years. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's gross. And so, these are rated commentaries, in case you weren't aware. These are not safe for work. God, I or hope they are safe and for nephews work. aren't listening to this. Yeah. <laughs> if you are, don't tell your parents. Don't tell your parents. <laughs> oh. Oh, Boba Fett. You die like a punk. It's such a shame. This is also the first time anybody mentions your name in the entire series. Just want to <laughs> At the out. same time, like, if you're being digested like, like, for burps. a thousand years and you've got a jetpack... I, I find it hard to believe like unless there's something in the no you're you're still alive while you're being digested right isn't that yeah part which of it? Uh, which doesn't make sense but unless there's like food that you can <laughs> live off of while you're down in the sarlacc belly Boba Fett just like just he just dies and it's really kind of underwhelming I I'm not entirely convinced he's he's gone just because again you got a jetpack. Who's to say you can't? The come back the now? recent book that came out kind of did confirm that he's he is dead. Um, is that one considered canon? Yeah, the first uh, of like the canon. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Oh, did that, did the subtitles actually say death rattle? It, said, it death did. Rattle. It said death wow. rattle. Wow. All right. Subtitles said death rattle. I yeah, Sarlacc pit. This scene, it's a good one. It is. It is. It's a good. It, it's a, the rescue. I you know I've seen multiple people point out that the rescue makes like no sense. But <laughs> <laughs> like Luke is like, all right, you're gonna go in and you're gonna get caught, and then this guy's gonna go in, he's gonna get caught, and then you're gonna go in, you're gonna get caught, 
And then, right before we die, I'm just going to do some Jedi shit and get us out of there. <laughs> <laughs> like, it makes no sense. Like, the pit, like, the, the whole thing, the whole plan made no sense. I, I think the idea is that the plan just backfires miserably. Um, but still. Oh, I'm, like, losing my voice. i lose my <laughs> voice on this commentary. That's no good. You don't want to lose your voice on a commentary. Nope. Or Drink some more beer. It's stout. It's stout. That's that'll that'll bring it back. <laughs> it's actually quite delicious. It is drinking the uh, the Great Lakes Brewing Company's uh, Ohio City Stout. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend it if you like. It's it's their oatmeal stout. I think if you so. like if you like alcohol, I don't know. There are you folks at home like alcohol, <laughs> but if you do, yeah, that's a good one to try. That's yeah, good. Great Lakes Brewing Company. It's good stuff. Yep, right down the street from me. Good times. Nice. I feel like it's the kind of alcohol that like only Ohioans drink. Actually, Great Lakes has distribution. Well, I, yeah, I know. It just feels like just such an Ohio drink. Yeah. We, we're from Ohio, folks, if you didn't know. Yep. Oh, no, his hand! Oh, no. Not again. The hand fetish mm. continues. The Jedi well. hand job. <laughs> <laughs> I want to create a sex act for every scene of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you, like... Cut someone's hand off while they're jerking you off. Yeah, that, that sounds like that what sounds it would like be. a really bad. Yeah. It's no hot tickle. It's <laughs> it's actually it's where you take a mannequin hand and you jerk yourself off it's with the mannequin. It's worse hand. than a crusty rancor. <laughs> <laughs> so like okay, so Han Solo doesn't know that like Lando's a good guy now because like that happened after oh, Han yeah, is frozen. Right. <laughs> I like like I want to like I want like Lan- like I really wish there was a scene where Han like like punches Lando. Like, as soon as he sees him, yeah, like, just punches him in the face, and, like, he goes, all right, now we're even, you know, something like that. And then, like, because there's this whole, like, IOU one kind of dialogue going Mm -hmm. throughout, it would have been nice to have that as, like, a fun thing. And here's where the the movie splits off and becomes a romantic comedy between Luke and Yoda. (laughs) (laughs) It has a sad ending for that, uh, that thread, though. But Luke does lose his virginity, so you know. And he goes that. here and he does the sloppy Dagobah, <laughs> which is a uh, where you. I think it's the soggy Dagobah. The soggy Dagobah. The soggy Dagobah. You, you cover yourself in mud, <laughs> and you have sex in a swamp, in front of a green man. I call that. <laughs> I call that Tuesday night. <laughs> call that Tuesday. That's oh, my Thursday. <laughs> oh, well, that's well, today's that Thursday. Why I haven't seen you. Today oh, is the day we're recording this. We might have to. Uh, <laughs> might have to do a little. <laughs> Without a soggy Dagobah. <laughs> You got you got to leave soon, Randy. You got you got an appointment. I gotta, I gotta go down to the bayou and, and some mud. Is <laughs> Bayou Billy gonna be nearby? Bayou Billy is gonna help me complete the. He's gonna he's gonna gonna handle your two by four. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna handle my two by four. Gotta fight through a bunch of ninjas to sleep with some Aladdin looking chick. <laughs> For all of you folks at home who are like, what the fuck it's are like they doing? Sense. <laughs> me. Uh, we did a play it smash it episode, uh, Adventures of Bayou Billy. You should be sure to check it out. It's it's quite funny. It's uh, disheartening, soul crushing, yeah. infuriating, and kind of hilarious. And completely cathartic. Oh yeah, oh, we God. destroyed Bayou Billy. Yep. Rise, my friend. I want to say that when you guys, I want you guys like next time you guys come over. Like, I want hey, you I gotta both, go to the like, bathroom. Rise, rise, my friend. Rise, my friend. That's, that's... <laughs> You've done well, Lord Vader. How is the pooping problem? You let me know you had like a pooping problem last time. Is that is that gotten Are better? Are you still backed up? <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> I tried. Did you? You are not eating enough fiber, Darth Vader. I told you. The powers of the dark side can clean you out, <laughs> but sometimes the powers of the dark side can bind you. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat some oatmeal at least once a day, and you will feel better. Oh, that's right. You can't eat so because your mouth is melted off. So. Uh, liquefy it. Get and one just... of those R2 things. They've got an attachment. It <laughs> must be fucking awkward as hell, like, like in the cafeteria of the Death Star when, like, Darth Vader walks in and everyone's just like, oh, fuck, Darth Vader's like, <laughs> shit, Darth Vader's fucking... And I just ate the last of the pudding. God damn it. Shit, he's gonna choke oh, me. Oh, he loves pudding. Oh, my God. Maybe I should just offer it to him, or do you the think he'll see that as weakness? tapioca. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not nearly as forgiving as me. <laughs> The That's the only, <laughs> only quote I know. It's not as forgiving. <laughs> no, you don't look really. You haven't aged a day since the last time I saw you. Because you really haven't. Yeah, you look he, the same puppet. Yep. 
They might have added a little more hair in the ears. I think, I think they, they might have taken hair off, actually. I think he a has little less. off the top, a little more in the ears. Oh, then weak. Fart much, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I had this teacher. Sloppy they become. <laughs> I had this teacher who was like 95 years old. He was old as shit. It was funny as he'd come out of retirement like six times to teach. And... um. I remember he had gotten to a point now, like he was a great, he was like one of my favorite teachers, but he was so funny because he would just fart. <laughs> like all, and I remember like the very first day of class, he'd walk in and be like, all right, folks, I'm old. I fart a lot now. I'm probably going to fart in class. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I remember like hanging out Wait, with him. does that get worse as you get old? It does. Oh, Apparently you shit. lose the ability to like hold them in. Yeah, my okay. grandfather all used right. to call them firecrackers. <laughs> <laughs> He would just randomly, he'd just be like, <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, little firecrackers. <laughs> but that's this guy. Like, I remember going, I remember being in an elevator with him. He was like, gonna, he was gonna let me borrow a movie. And um, we were in an elevator together, and he's just like, he's just sitting there, and he's like, so you got any classes today? And I'm like, no, I don't, you know, I'm good. And this is my last class. He's like, oh, that's good. And then it kind of went silent for a while. And we're just sitting in the elevator, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, I have no idea what to say right now because this guy's just farting everywhere. Uh, he, he's, he's like, I'm sorry, uh, I fart a lot. So one time at work, where I used to work, we were in a meeting, and I was, I'm pretty sure I was the only person in the room who didn't have a PhD, and one of the, one of the other people in there just farted, like really loud, and it was totally quiet, and no one knew what to do. Etiquette so, says you so just ignore I it. did the forehead trumpet <laughs> <laughs> to indicate that it wasn't me. Not it. And slowly everyone else did the forehead trumpets. I want to point out right now, Yoda is dying, and we're basically just talking about farts. Well, you know, he's I, when he dies, he's probably going to fart a little bit, right? Yeah. You, As he vanishes, he he's going to shit himself. <laughs> Fortunately, so, the shit vanishes as well. So. I like how he basically has Luke over. He cooks dinner and then dies. <laughs> He's just like, have dinner, you can. No, Die, I will. <laughs> so back to farting. Yeah. Did you know Adolf Hitler was a prolific farter? Ah, he really? Had, yeah, what? he had yeah. a private doctor to prescribe him anti-flatulence pills. Ah, really? Yes. Have you it ever all heard of, makes sense now. Have you ever heard of Monsieur <laughs> Le Petomain? He was, he was known as the fartiste. He the was fartiste. A, was, I, did in, we talk about this before? I, I, don't I don't remember know. this. He could, he could play like deja vu. <laughs> he, he could play the flute with his flatulence. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yoda's dead. <laughs> oh, not yet. Not no. yet. He's still no, this, to be weird. Actually, I always I always she kinda didn't like the scene because like it takes forever for him to die. <laughs> and he keeps like getting slower and slower with his dialogue delivery, and I'm like, oh my god, just get on with it. <laughs> um I actually think it would have been way, way more potent if he would have Luke would have arrived and Yoda was already gone. Mm. Um and there was no he arrives and he's just you know, because that was the idea was you come back and finish your training. It would be so heartbreaking for him just to arrive back and Yoda's just not there anymore. Like he missed the chance to be trained. Um, unfortunately, this scene just goes on and on and on. Um, it, it's so sad when he actually dies. The music cue from John Williams is absolutely poetic and beautiful. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it just it, it kind of moves in a really slow and he does, he does like a couple fake out deaths where he like yeah. closes his eyes. He's like, no, I'm not. it becomes practically parody by the end mm -hmm. of the scene. And he's just like, Ew. yeah, he Jedi. keeps saying Luke. Luke. What is up with that? Luke, what the fuck do you want now? <laughs> I think he's like fading out, basically. I wonder what Yoda is dying from. I feel like maybe it's just despair. Um, you he's know, like a rabbit age, despair or or i always thought it was possible you know he's right next to the huge concentration of the dark mm -hmm. side it might like, be killing him in slowly that, tree that might be sapping away his his yoda energy his ear is yeah. getting all bent as he dies <laughs> <laughs> and, he doesn't and then this music cue here when it like shows yoda disappearing is really beautiful um I like we this look. I want to like. So I don't know. I want to edit like the. 
it is expressions. That's not the music. It's the incredible music. Well, at least he doesn't have to clean anything up. It's incorrectly putting the wrong music. I hope he ate whatever Yoda cooked for him, or was he like a dick and was like, oh, God, Yoda's cooking. It's fucking worse. terrible. I'll just throw it in the There's swamp. feet in this. Know. There's feet in I don't even know what it's feet it is. salt, you jerk. Good <laughs> lord. And the spices he puts in. Who, who combines strawberry yogurt and curry? That's terrible. <laughs> it's hard to cook well with swamp water. <laughs> it's probably from outside this water came. <laughs> You're like, no. Why don't you must. <laughs> Fine from liver flukes, I am. <laughs> he just yeah, he went out and took a swim and he peed, and he has amoebas in his like dick. And that's like what he died from. Oh, the dreaded oh. candy. I was about to say candy. <laughs> no, I've, I've actually uh, I visited Brazil, and apparently it really is a thing. Like mm. in the Amazon River, off some of the the little like inlets and estuaries and such. Like yeah, yeah, you don't want to go swimming there. That's that's candy. Uh, yeah. That's candy uh, uh, swimming hole. I like swimming pools. Because they don't have fish that will swim up <laughs> your the dick and like, have peel. spines that you can't pull them out. Yeah. You're going to yeah. find that uh, many of the trees we cling to de- depend greatly on or whatever. <laughs> Anakin was a good friend. He was a, we, Him and I, we used to go to the bar. We'd pick up one girl, and then he'd pick up another girl. And we'd go home, and then we'd just leave him there. <laughs> <laughs> We wasn't even our home. It was, just a, it was just a hotel we rented, yeah. and we we they Found made a house for sale within windows. I'm not gonna lie, Luke. Me and Anakin were assholes. <laughs> <laughs> we were surefire bullies. Uh, it just it was not good. You can see that Alec uh, here is just like miserable. <laughs> do, do I have to say he's, he's more like, machine God. than man, twisted and evil? Why do this I have is to my do dialogue. This? I used to be a Shakespearean actor. Damn it! I was in Bridge on the River Kwai. He was. Yeah. You should see that film if you have not yet, folks. Because Bridge on the River Kwai is quite good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Thanks, I'm Dad. sorry. Oh, yeah, your twin sister. I didn't mention your twin sister? Oh, how did I That's forget that? Oh, whoa, you made out with her? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Well, you I didn't probably s- shouldn't have told you, you that. Oh, you, didn't, well. you didn't sleep with her, did you? You, you did. I sent yeah. you. I sent you a text about it. You didn't get it. <laughs> I use emojis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I used I, the one with the fingers in the circle shape, and then the one pointing into it, <laughs> and then the no symbol, and then a picture of your sister. Your I don't know how to make well. my keyboard go back to letters now. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I, like he immediately figures it out. Like I, I just love the the notion that Luke. Like, it's sort of like Back to the Future when, when um, Marty McFly's mom kisses him and she's like, it's like I was kissing my brother. <laughs> like, she's all, like, weirded out by it. Like, I, I love the idea that, like, that's actually how Luke knows is because he when he kissed her, he was like, oh, that, felt weird. that did not feel that, did, that felt like kissing Aunt Beru. I don't like this. <laughs> like kissing Joel Egerton. <laughs> so he played Uncle Owen. He also directed a film called The Gift. Uh, folks at home, if you haven't seen The Gift, check it out. It's a good movie. Oh, just so you know there, Han Solo, old buddy, I wore your clothes for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> Might have also done some stuff with Leia. You, you and can I don't wipe well. <laughs> <laughs> have, have I ever told you about this move? It's called the Sarlacc Pit. It's called the Sarlacc Pit. Me Leia and Leia. loves it. <laughs> Leia loves the Sarlacc Pit. <laughs> I want to just create a, a sex act now called the Mon Mothra. <laughs> Which I believe is her name. Mon Mothma. Mon Ra- yeah, Ma- uh, yeah, Mon Mothma. Yeah, <laughs> Look at Star Wars Mon- names are like Mon- Mothra would be the the giant moth that I want to see Mon out. Mothra, which is just like a combination of her and Mothra. <laughs> like that's a, a movie I'd watch. A Rasta Mothra. Many Bothans died to bring you this information. <laughs> yeah, which... Mon Mothma. <laughs> Many Bothans. She's um, she her performance is just chilling. Mm-hmm. Um, she from the book that i read she actually makes like a really tremendous mistake um that's probably going to be the driving force uh, uh, of the uh, force thanks, awakens Dad. yeah it's <laughs> um, gonna be as many dad jokes as we can fit in yeah. she, she 
<laughs> Trying to be funny tonight. If you're counting, that's two. But she she's kind of the one who wants to demilitarize the Rebel Alliance post uh, their victory against the Empire. And this is problematic because they need the military. But she her view is that we were never meant to be a military organization. We will the and we mostly just have like teenagers and like farmers working as our soldiers. We can't have these people be soldiers. We need to deregulate it. We need to to tear it down. And so she makes a decision to kind of kind of dismantle the rebel army um, kind of preemptively. And I think that's going to be a major problem in the in Force Awakens. But we'll see. For you folks who are watching this post Force Awakens, you're like, no, that's not how. Hey, it goes. That's not part of the plot at all. What are you talking about? Well, this guy's just foreskin man, and then this guy who just looks like he took off a hat. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little bit like the guy from the Black Keys. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Dan Auerbach? Over there? <laughs> he does look like a like a Brooklyn hipster. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's just like he's got this beard. He's got like his head. His hair is very like almost intentionally flattened. Mm -hmm. It's very very intentional. I'm with you too. I've been here the whole time. I just wanted I, Mon Mothra or whatever. Is, he's just I just don't like her. Yeah, Mothra's <laughs> dead. Yeah, whatever. It's a trap. Yeah, maybe I've sex, seen the movie. Maybe he had sex with her. Ooh, oh. I want, yeah. What like Admiral Akbar is a confused. I mean, he's basically a fish man and like. <laughs> like how does he survive out of like you know uh does he need to swim Breathing like at air? least once it's a, a day trap. yeah i mean he's known he has you know i have these things called like, i call kind of cult lines uh -huh. um you know it's a trap obviously is is probably one of the most famous cult lines of all time mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, karate absolutely. kid the, yeah, the famous one of like you know you know put him, put in, him a, in a body bag yeah like that that's like a classic cult line like just it's a line that that you remember, we were actually watching uh, the movie Manhunter, which we should probably do a commentary oh, for. Yeah, and I, but... there's there's a running gag my friend and I used to have about like toward the end of the movie, he's like the main character's piecing together stuff, and he keeps saying the word Jacoby Cat um, and padlock, but he says them in kind of a weird way. He's like Jacoby Cat and the padlock. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps saying the padlock like padlock. Now that's the that's the original version of Red Dragon, right? Yeah, that's, that's the original. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you have never seen Manhunter, folks at home, check it's it pretty out. good. It is. It's a damn good movie. Yeah. Right? It's it's honestly one of my all time. Don't walk too far, Lando. You're gonna walk into a wall. Did they wall. paint that? Yeah, that was all painted. Jeez. That's a good painting. Yeah. yeah. Some some of the matte paintings in these films are incredible. Just in general, in mm -hmm. this in this era of filmmaking, like matte paintings were such an amazing art form. These are the artists of the day. I wonder what a lot of these people are doing because they're probably not doing mats anymore. I mean, people don't really do mats as much. Probably complaining about computer people and, yeah, and the all. fact that they probably, have jobs ah, anymore but probably oh, like, damn kids in that computer took away our map painting jobs now I paint houses you know how much time I put into those damn Lucky Strike ads I have to paint the murals in Olive Gardens now oh. you know that faux fresco work that's all me <laughs> you have to drive yeah. <laughs> paint another jackass on a gondola <laughs> there's probably like matte painters listening to us right now like fuck you asshole that's actually legitimately what it's like <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry, sorry, Matt Painters. <laughs> if that's actually what you have to do, I'm really sorry. I'm that's really just... sorry. We, I wish you got like, I wish Matt Painting was still a thing because it's, it's if just you want like the if texture of Matt Paintings and and like Matt paint the entire inside of my house. I don't have any money, but I that's do, the, they're, 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 they're used to that. Yeah, part <laughs> of the problem. Say, like, uh, I got a tenor with your name on it. <laughs> Is it Michael I never noticed he had a, a cane there. He's walking with a cane. Yeah. I, I had to be. I had to be quiet. <laughs> I, I was like, I want. I want that. I want that pause to be like really, really long. <laughs> we just paused. For... And a hush fell over the commentators. Yeah. What's that guy? He's like kind of laughing in the back. <laughs> He's like, yep. I've got exactly. some from this, mass. from this angle, who are these the, fucking the actor guys? Who was playing Palpatine was making funny faces the whole time. Are those Palpatine's like friends? Did he like <laughs> yeah. bring his friends? It's like entourage. He's got like that's Turtle and that's I've got there, some that's, work that's, stuff. That's, they're they're that's in an indoor e soccer and league together, you know. Palpatine actually just pulled a muscle in his leg in their last game. I was giving uh, Darth Vader the hot tickle the other day. <laughs> Uh, his 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 problem with his I use that blue finger electricity shit. His, <laughs> his Darth Vader's problem with constipation has gotten very bad. It's gotten, I'm very worried about him because he's just he has not pooped in three days. We're gonna have to make that suit brown soon. 
<laughs> Very true. He's still rocking the the new do. Yeah. The, the younger, the younger hipper Chewy. He's going through He's like, like a, <laughs> a midlife crisis. <laughs> he bought himself a hot rod land speeder. Got his new hairdo. <laughs> He's dating Mon 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 Mothma. Mon Mothma. Everybody's dating Mon Mothma nowadays. She's like many Bothan spies. And he's just like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever talks. I would love to hear just a recording of what Wookiee sound like having sex. <laughs> it's actually just completely quiet. Just, this is this is um this is a recreation, an audio recreation of Chewbacca having sex. That's the bed. <laughs> well, I thought you were gonna like like put together something when you're editing this, <laughs> like John Williams esque, just like <laughs> escalating an epic, beautiful. <laughs> no, nope, just, just, just a little room. little little bed spring creaking. That's it. There's that's no it. sounds and a grunt. <clears throat> Completely. And that's it. That, that reminds me of of your neighbors upstairs at your old apartment. Oh yeah, I used to live in there. A... 45 seconds for <clears> time. oh my god the minute man <laughs> i we we lived a, i lived in this apartment in college and there was this absolutely gorgeous girl who lived upstairs she was like a model she was just really beautiful and, and uh i actually one time i went up there because she was she had music on really loud and i was like trying to study and i remember going upstairs knocking on the door and she answered the door in her underpants <laughs> like she has a bra and underwear on and she kind of crosses her legs like she's and then she kind of runs her finger down her chest and her stomach and she's like what do you want are you and i'm just like plumbing yeah it was like a fucking porno <laughs> scenario and she answers the door and she does this and she runs her finger down her like down her like chest and her stomach which is like the fucking hottest thing ever and like and then and i'm just like um can you, can you turn the music down i'm trying to study <laughs> <laughs> you know the but... scene you know the scene from robin hood men in tights where like uh, uh, little John falls off and made Marion's uh, uh, like assistant, whatever mm-hmm. her name was, uh, lands on top of him. He's like, "What would you like to do, big boy?" And he's like, "Get off!" He's like, <laughs> I'm panicked. Yeah, uh, it was one of those like it just took me by complete surprise. And then, um, uh, but she had a boyfriend, and they used to have sex, obviously. And and um, th- it was hilarious because they would have sex for like one minute, and then yeah, we'd be out. we'd be out there, we'd be over there hanging like watching a movie and randy be like hold on and pause and we'd, <laughs> and we'd like start a timer and like see how long it would last one time my dad came over and like they were having sex in the tub <laughs> my dad's like in the bathroom my dad's like hey randy you gotta come here and listen to this <laughs> which i'm sure they could hear um she used to she used to masturbate in the tub a lot um <laughs> My God, you could hear that. That girl, I this, you just brought up a lot of a flood of, a flood of fucking memories of that like girl. Because that, that was a crazy time. It was a crazy time. I was kind of happy when they left though, because they were kind of annoying. Um, but she was she was pretty. I can't really remember her entirely, but oh, and here we are. The, the I do love the 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 land speeder chase. The land speeder chase is, is the speeder phenomenal. bikes. There's yeah, no these are badass speeder bike. There's no real logic behind how it would work no no. i mean no, no, you no. get on one of these fucking things you're dead there's yeah, you, no <laughs> chance you're not hitting a tree you would be running into one of those trees you'd, within like you'd five almost seconds. have to have the force in order to be able to do mm-hmm. this um <laughs> i had that same that same complaint about the scene from uh from jurassic world where he's like going through the forest i'm like you're gonna run hit a branch on on a triumph scrambler like he's he's rolling through there on a motorcycle in the dark where there are like fallen trees and all of this and somehow he manages to navigate that without running into anything like uh, come on maybe if you were on a dirt bike like something lightweight that you could manage to stunt over things but come on now so, that's almost the same motorcycle i have so yeah. i like the bike choice but no yeah so why was it almost the same bike as yours oh yeah it's it's the same same engine it's a mm-hmm. triumph it's built on the bonneville base and yeah it's, it's just a badass bike i yeah. i thought about trying to convince some of my friends to dress up as raptors and you know oh my god that would have been awesome i know i know <laughs> you just go down ken on your bike you got all these like people dressed as raptors exactly. like following you around exactly keep giving them signals. who wants to be raptors next year it'll still be funny <laughs> yeah, like I... the one of the top grossing movies yeah. the last it's only like nine Ever. million. It's only like nine million away from being the top grossing film world. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, I uh, just need to get some Raptor buddies. Got that Avatar money. <laughs> so, are these stormtroopers that are chasing them? Yeah. Why do they have special helmets? Um, I yeah, I I think there was just some <laughs> some design changes for this. Like, 
Well, they're gonna you be know, on these things. Let's give them little visors. Yeah, like they're gonna be in the for- they're gonna be on this forest moon. So we're gonna have them with different outfits. I, hmm. Now is it is it just? I'm the sure one there's actually. The if you know in the comments why they do have the the, I'd be actually really fascinated, but. Um, I think they were slightly different for the snow. There were snow ones as well. Yeah, in the, Empire. the snow troopers had different. They had different uh, uh, outfits as well. They had the much more like sealed looking, which are really cool looking. Right, that was right. Some of my favorite mm-hmm. of all the stormtrooper looks. Um, these I kind of think are a little dumb because you lose peripherals. Like, right? You've are, you've made so, a stormtrooper less effective. That's the worst possible <laughs> thing that you could be wearing while riding <laughs> on a flying motorcycle. At, you yeah. know, 60 miles per hour through a forest full of giant trees. Doing giant... Yeah. Yep. Like, that's what's going to happen all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it were me, I'd be on one of these and I'd be like, all right, let's go like five miles an hour. Because there's <laughs> definitely no way I'm going to be able to do this at any speed fast. They're like power walking you down. <laughs> I, if I remember correctly, I think they just had a, like a, maybe a steady cam guy like walking through the forest and they sped the footage up. Yeah, it looks about right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's a really, really cool scene. Like the, sen- the you sensation really, of speed in the this. The sensation is awesome. of speed is captured perfectly. It's one of the best. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. Yeah, like of any of any movie of like, holy shit, they're going fast, and I'm yeah. like better than the pod race scene. Absolutely, in the, in because it's real. Episode one. Yeah, exactly. What you're looking at is is a combination of of miniature work. There is some like that's miniature. Mm-hmm. Um, it's miniature work, live action footage, practical effects, matte, you know, or matte, probably a little bit of matte painting, and then and, and certainly a lot of, uh, of green screening. It's just, mm-hmm. it's just great. Do you know what forest this was? I mean, they kind of look Redwood, like Redwoods. The Redwood Forest. Say, yeah, be... there's a Parks and Rec, uh, uh, I believe it's the season six finale, um, where Leslie and Ben Wyatt go into the, they're in the Redwoods, and all of a sudden Ben, ben Wyatt stops. He's like, whoa, we're in the, we're in Endor. <laughs> it's a great little moment and it's like one of the very you know one of the primary spots where they shot that the redwoods are so they're beautiful and like it's just so unique looking it just feels like a planet it feels mm-hmm. like a weird forest moon you know I mean, again it's... again with the uh the whole like we're gonna go with a planet with one single ecosystem in the i like but this, this is, is a forest moon, moon a moon which I'll, I'll accept a little bit more it's interesting that you know it has its own atmosphere it's... and can sustain that which is kind of what, a cool like, idea why wouldn't it be a planet then though because eh? <laughs> it, it has to be orbiting a planet right yeah it it's orbiting so then the well, you think of it would, would be call it like a, a mini moon. like a mini planet or a micro planet or something toyed Oh, here, here we, we get go. the furry feet. The furries. Furry feet. For furry feet out there. For furries out there. This is. <laughs> I don't want to make fetish. fun of furries. No, I actually know. have. I actually have a friend who's a furry. We, yeah, like we not have, not we the. Have a friends I, that are at least as far as I know, not the like sexual kind of furry, but she does an incredible costume work. Like, yeah. absolutely amazing the costume work she does. Yeah, furries get a lot of flack for for kind of being a little different, but yeah, I don't know. care. Whatever. Everyone's got their thing. Everyone's got their their own subculture that you know, I like. They, they found the people that they like hanging out with and and to be honest like that's sort of what we're all about at permanently geek yeah. is finding the thing that you love and like going full and, force and recording into commentary it. about right. it exactly <laughs> find the thing you love and then talk about it no, i mean like a know, bunch of sex act names. furry furry culture is is you know certainly to me uh weird but you know for anybody that isn't that is into it i think it's fine mm-hmm. i think it's a you know, as long as you're not homicidal and killing people, oh, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, if you're just celebrating life and having a good time. That's good. Yep. Like, do, um, do furries have name like a name for pre- people who aren't furries? Like, are they like baldies or muggles? something? muggles? <laughs> like, yeah. Like uh, normies, like non-human normies. <laughs> I don't know if, if there are any furries out there listening, and you're not offended by what we've all said, which I hope you're not. No, um, I, mean, I mean seriously, I legitimately I, I have respect for no people that do it. Disrespect, because like, I, as I said, I have a friend who. Oh, does Leia, incredible, incredible. Did you work. just give Wicket the Ewok uh, one of those like popcorn balls? Because <laughs> He's definitely gonna kill you after eating that, because those things are fucking horrible. And he's like, I'm I'm on a diet. Um, I saw how I looked in that in that metal bikini. I do love in the movie Paul. There's kind of a furry joke where where um, Nick Frost is sort of into the Ewok, into all the women dressed as Ewoks. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a funny funny joke. Um, you know what it's what uh, the the furries that are into the sexual side of it. You know what it's called when they do that. It's no. called yiffing, because wow. apparently the that's, it's, that's the sound that foxes make when they have sex. Mm. It's like a yiff, yiff, yiff. That's, uh, that makes sense. That's what I've heard, at least. Yeah, we were just at an event uh, a couple weeks ago. There was a bunch of furries there. Oh. 
Yeah, they have their they have their own conventions. And like... Gander Snitch, Gander Snitch, yeah. if you're listening. Gander Snitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we might want to pause this right yeah. about here. Gander Snitch was Gander like a now he he's his a goblin. He's a goblin, which yes, was like is a when you first goblin. when you kind of first hear about it, you're like, what the fuck is this? But I mean, his he was great at it. He was genuinely great at it. But it was like a little on the unnerving. He was side. easily the best goblin I've ever seen. Ever seen. <laughs> the best live goblin ever. We should have Gander Snitch do a commentary with us. Absolutely. In character the whole time. Oh, I'd be yeah, down with that. that, that we should we should, should do like Lord of the Rings. Or I was like, going to say like watch, watch, watch Lord like of the Willow. Rings. Or, or what was a, it? Seventh a, Kingdom? Was yeah. that the name of that show? With the, 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 the like mini series? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, there's like, a book. Was it Ninth Neal Kingdom? Ninth Kingdom or Eleventh Kingdom? Eleventh Kingdom. I know it was some number in Kingdom. There's like Sam Neill in that, I think. Yeah, I was. I was. There's a Gander Snitch book. Did you know that? No. There's totally a Gander Snitch book. He's got his own book. Yeah, Wait, she like... had to help Wicked down. How does Wicked function in the woods? <laughs> if she mean, had to probably, help him he down. He probably would have figured it out on his own, <laughs> but it's just a little bit quicker when you get He should have just rolled it down. <laughs> God, that, so, they're so cute. So who's the actor who played that? Was that Warwick, Warwick Davis? Davis? Yeah. yeah. All right. Who was young at the time. He was like, you know, <laughs> So I have on pause at home on Netflix right now... A documentary where Warwick Davis is like talking about like little people who suffered in the Holocaust. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, whoa, that was totally unintentional. I didn't know we were watching this. I thought we were watching a different movie. I apologize for laughing right after a statement about the Holocaust, but uh, <laughs> I apologize for laughing after you made a state apology about that. <laughs> this is turning into an No more moment. laughing. <laughs> we just apologize. Gander um, Snitch if you're listening. listening. <laughs> Gander Snitch. <laughs> It's so fun. Like well, you know, I mean, it's kind of awesome that he's done this and he's made like an entire career for himself. If you know, seriously, folks, if you if you want to if you want to check, it's kind of goofy, but if you want to check it out, it's actually really awesome because well, he's really committed to it. The dude's a writer. He wrote mm-hmm. the Gander Snitch stories and then then became he yeah. lived his art. He's living his art. There was a. I went to a comic con. <laughs> I went. To, I went to a comic con once where there was this guy who envisioned being like a horseman. In the post-apocalyptic world, a hor- like a man who owns horses, or like a man who is <laughs> who part is, of a horse, he, like, like he became a horse. Thing, or? Okay. Okay. He becomes a horse, like Bojack, uh, kind of like Bojack, <laughs> but like he's human except for his head, which is a horse head. And <laughs> so I was exactly at this comic like guy, and there's a guy walking around. And he's just handing out like flyers with like links to his book. And I just, I got it, and I'm like, at first my thought was just like, this is the stupidest thing on the planet. But then I'm like, well, you know, more power to him. He's he's doing his thing. Wait, Warwick Davis was actually in Tenth Kingdom. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was just looking what? that up. <laughs> pardon pardon my, my digression. I just IMDb'd it, and he was like, actually in there. Along with Rutger Hauer and Ed O'Neill. You're stuck on Warwick <laughs> Davis, and I'm stuck on Gandersnitch the Goblin. Because I found out for five bucks, he'll, like, record your voicemail message. Oh, my God, it's amazing. <laughs> We should seriously contact Gandersnitch. Everyone at home is just like, who <laughs> the fuck is going to care about Gandersnitch? He's got his own Facebook page, and it's spelled exactly how you would think Gandersnitch would be spelled. I follow him on Facebook. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to follow this guy. He's awesome. This guy is committed. He's got a lot of followers, too. Oh, Chewbacca. Chewbacca smelling the meat. Mm-hmm. They're called, he doesn't want to eat it. He just wants to fuck it. <laughs> hey, baby. Does that leg go all the way up? <laughs> Wookiees really, really like and to have sex they're with all trapped. <laughs> 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 no, again, it's just absolute silence. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, you're ruining Return of the Jedi for me. If you could see the movements that Alex is making. <laughs> again, we got it. As... <laughs> one of these days soon, we're going to get yeah, a video. We're going to have to get video uh... that you can, like, if you really want to see what we're doing with the, you know, so you can see Alex, like, <laughs> pelvic thrusting <laughs> as a Wookiee into. So, how did R2. The, the movements are, it's, uh, they're delicate. They're delicate movements. I'm like a dancer. <laughs> so, they just cut themselves out of this net, right? Like, how did R2 just not, like, break when he hit the ground? <laughs> like, they felt like 10 feet. Ooh, these are, I always thought that that, that specific weird, Ewok's man. creepy as shit. Yeah, like the the brindled Ewok, and that one looks almost too human. He's got like a human nose. There, some of these, some of them are really kind of actually really creepy looking. Mm. Some of them are cute, and some of them are terrifying. Did I use the word brindled properly? I don't, I don't know. even know what brindled means. Google it. I'm googling it right now. 
Brindle. We'll just we'll put the fans who are listening just in in absolute silence while you Google. <laughs> no, we're not gonna keep. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. keep yeah, talking. brownish or tawny with streaks of other color. Okay. Yeah, sort of ish. Yeah, that, I mean, I'll, I'll put I'll put. Yeah, he's got the colored streaks. He's not just uniformly like brown. Han, yeah. don't shoot first. <laughs> Whoa, it's the beginning. I, that's why you know. Again, we're going back to the Boba Fett thing, like. You can tell that was George Lucas being like, "Oh, we don't want, we don't want Han to kill Boba Fett like on purpose in cold mm-hmm. blood. We want him to accidentally kill him because that's that's funnier. It keeps the idea that Han Solo is a a clean character. Which like, you know, he's not like it's all right if he kills Boba Fett. I mean, Boba Fett kind of like damned him to an eternity of being frozen in carbonite. Like maybe shooting, maybe having him shoot that like." Like, when did Han Solo become kind of, like, anti-death sentence, basically? (laughs) It was love that did it. It was love for Leia. Speaking Ewokies. (laughs) Oh, yes, Master Luke. I've had sex with many Ewoks. (laughs) He also makes it... Uh, yeah. no. C3B is loud as fuck. <laughs> loud British swearing. So like, oh dear. <laughs> oh my. This is this is magnificent. <laughs> oh his, his key move is called the Golden Android. The Golden <laughs> Android. That's great. <laughs> the Twisted Wire. <laughs> Quite lovely. My mistake. The Ewok in the background there needed a little bit of uh, of dental work. <laughs> <laughs> do the Ewoks have any uh, orthodontia? They do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They have a really good dental plan. Okay. Yeah. Is it like socialized medicine in among among so, the Ewoks? Or? How do you guys like... intend to get? <laughs> nice. <laughs> How do you guys intend to get C three PO across the? Because like they clearly to get there they have to swing. Um, well, that might just be the shortcut. And like ah, I don't want to go up and over and. Oh my god, yeah, this would be really awful leg. to be attached to like poles like this and just carried around. Like yeah, it's yeah. one of those things where I'd be like, yeah, I would do that. And then like by hour three, you're like, this is the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> because like you know when you make a movie what what might be a two minute scene may take three days to shoot oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hung you know you're hung on a pole for like three days there's even strippers who'd be like i ain't mm-hmm. been hung on a pole for three days i ain't happen to them. oh look at the little baby <laughs> it's it's like so a little, cute little, little marmoset <laughs> you're hearing chewing folks it's because i'm eating cranberries <laughs> It's not a euphemism. Mm-hmm. He's actually eating cranberries. Preparing for the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> you gotta get your urinary tract healthy. I gotta get my before, urinary before you attempt the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> a, thousand, a thousand years, right? A thousand gotta get years. good flow. Gotta get good flow going. <laughs> they had an outfit for Leia. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like they just they had like an outfit. Show that in the last uh, ten minutes since they've been hauling hauling them around. There's it's, probably there's like one Ewok with gigantism. <laughs> Big birth of the Ewok. It's just right in her closet. This freaky shaped Ewok that's just normal human size. <laughs> Ewok. No one wants show. to date her because she's a giant. But she's she's the star of the Ewok basketball team. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Won't they cover that in the Ewok movie? Um well which we're gonna do commentaries for the Ewok movies. Um Though I hear that like the Ewok movies take place, I think, slightly before this event, or at least one of them takes place before the events of Return of the Jedi. So there were some humans on this planet or this moon. Um, so it might be, you know, remnants of that. Though the continuity wise doesn't really make that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> why they would have hung on to that. Why they well, why why those humans aren't here now and um they also speak English in the second Ewok movie. Mm. <laughs> so That's... or whatever language that technically these all people these you know they're not speaking english here they're just speaking a language i don't know maybe they are speaking english i've lost my train of thought regarding this <laughs> lost the plot this on that tangent. one a little bit all i know is c3po is in the air 
Luke is using the dark side. Oh, no, don't scare the baby. Ewok is so cute. Well, I mean, this isn't necessarily... I mean, it's being used for deceitful purposes, but this is basically exactly what Yoda taught him as far as lifting the uh, mm-hmm. um, the X-Wing out of the swamp. So it's kind of, you know, that's just standard jedi E stuff. But no, it is being used for deceit. So it's being used for deceit. So, well, yeah. I don't know. Jedis do deceive, yeah, they, too. They're liars. Um, not the droids you're looking for and all that. Is that not the droids you're looking for? The droids you're looking for down the street. There's a guy I know, his name's Fat Earl. He's really thin. It's, I don't know why they call him that. But it's one of those Fat Earl, things. he's gonna... P-H-A-T. He's, he's got the droids cool. you're looking for. He's. I know that they're the ones you're looking for. Guaranteed. <laughs> That's in the extended cut. That's the extended cut. Yeah, there's like a really <laughs> long extended dialogue. <laughs> and then and then the stormtrooper repeats all of that back verbatim. <laughs> he's like, oh, the guy these are not the stormtroopers down the road like Fat Earl. <laughs> down the street, guy not, named Fat Earl. He's, he's like, not actually fat. Yeah. It's an ironic thing. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> It's like little. I, I, I think it, he I ate it. one of those like Mondo-sized burgers one time in a single sitting, so he's got one of his. But he's not actually fat. It's <laughs> aspirational. It's not like Big Chuck and Little John. <laughs> that's that's Whoa. an Every, area thing. Right everyone there. listening right now is like, "What the who, fuck is that?" Who are Big Chuck and Little John? Well, they're, Big Chuck and Little John are defined by their Clevelanders, they, folks. and they are exactly as described. One of them is very large. The other one is well, he's about Ewok size. He's little John. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find the laugh. Because Big, Big Chuck and Little John used to have uh, a laugh. Yeah, here we go, folks. Are you ready for this? Every, Big Chuck and Little John was where they were Cleveland locals. They used to put on these kind of kind of crappy sketches, but they were funny. They always had like yeah, they one were on, joke. They like public access TV and yeah. stuff like that. There was, like, no, they were on like Channel 8. Were they actually on Channel yeah. 8? Okay. There was, like, one, there was one joke, and then the joke would always end with this laugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is it going to make you watch an ad before, before you hear the laugh? No, it's just not letting me push the play. Well, it wants push to the, play push it. Push the triangle. It wants to play <laughs> it on your phone. It wants to play it on the PlayStation, which oh. I don't want to play on because we're watching Star Wars right now. <laughs> that, that might be a challenge. Uh, that let's might be a challenge. See here, I can get it to work. I can get it to work. Give me a minute. Turn off Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, the movie's still going. There's like <laughs> and Ewoks, Ewoks and they're worshiping C-3PO and blah, 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 blah. One of them's holding a little marmoset. We'll get back to it, folks. Big Chuck and Little John laugh coming in just a minute. Just watch. <laughs> I'm just... sure the anticipation is just killing No one cares. Everybody's point. like, who the fuck is Bill? I don't like care. There's like one guy. Like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like Little John! Dr. Ben crazy! <laughs> You know, the whole time I was second guessing myself about whether I actually meant marmoset, and I just looked it up, and yes, it looks exactly like a fucking yeah. marmoset. Oh, okay. Like, no joke. Two two. I, I kind of nailed that one. Oh, yeah. So here we go. <laughs> That's the laugh that concluded every fucking sketch. I feel like I feel like somebody <laughs> needs to take that. You know the uh, that used to be my text tone whenever I get a text. So it would be that <laughs> that stupid fucking laugh. You know the the uh, Ian Malcolm laugh from Jurassic Park that people <laughs> have. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I feel like someone needs to remix that in the same way that people have remixed the Ian Malcolm laugh. I might uh, I might have to do that, and if uh, if that happens, you'll probably see a link to that in the description of this. Yeah. Um, all right, I know what I'm doing when I get home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we can put that on your channel. We can put it on Permanently Geek. I'm fine with whatever. Retweet, retweet the shit out of it. I don't know. Did the owner of Big Chuck and Little John have Twitter? No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> this commentary is off the rails. <laughs> well, they're just talking as this, brothers this and movie, sisters and this, stuff. You know. I, yeah, this movie has kind of a, a really long quiet before the storm. Yeah. Um, so you know, you have kind of the the opening act, and then the middle act of the movie, outside of from the 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 chase through the forest, uh, it gets a little on the it gets a little like on the expository side, where you have to like he's got to they kind of have to plan this whole thing. They kind of have to execute the plan. He's got to tell Luke or Leia that you know they're brother and sister, and they should probably repent for not their make sins. out anymore you know like that thing that we've been doing off camera all the time yeah we gotta stop that yeah we have got to stop are you pregnant again oh maybe just one more hot tickle <laughs> <laughs> there's no refrigeration here we can't do the hot tickle you look at luke here though he really looks like he's like the dark side really kind of has him mm-hmm. um oh there's more it's about to get even more weird <laughs> Oh, 
Don't talk that way. You're going to make it back. You're going to make it back, and we're going to do the thing with the, you know, with the thing. <laughs> with, the, with the ice cube you know, and, and huh. the Sarlacc pit. Jolly you know? Rancher. <laughs> the Jolly Rancher. <laughs> Is that are we referring to the candy or is that a specific move that I don't know about? Google. <laughs> All right, let's let's Urban Dictionary Jolly Rancher and see what uh, what comes out of this. <laughs> and my sister has it, motherfucker. That's you. Ooh. That's how we actually delivered the dialogue. But Lucas didn't like that take, so <laughs> they, they you know they redubbed it in post. <laughs> Bitch, we got chromosomes in common. <laughs> Look at a look at her face. He's just like, ew, really? Oh god. I have had impure thoughts. <laughs> I never really felt sin before. <laughs> but now I know what sin is. That must feels be with the dark side. <laughs> That's <laughs> the dark side right there. No, run away, Luke. Like, why is she telling him to run away? It's a really weird motivation. Yeah. I wish I could go with you. A, a jolly rancher is a man who can keep an erection for a long period of time. <laughs> <laughs> so Mace Windu in this series. <laughs> exactly. Mace Windu is the jolly rancher. It's so thick. <laughs> so, it's not enough. <laughs> oh my god. Sucks it's a dick, man. That's, yeah. that's a pisser. <laughs> <laughs> also no he just leaves her there also the term for a man who works on the farm or ranch and walks around having sexual relations with the animals hmm. so you know there's that too urban dictionary urban dictionary there were some that were so racially offensive that i could not bring myself to read them so you can go check those out yourself yes Racially insensitive is what Urban Dictionary is. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was like built on on the uh, the basis of what's the most. Why can't she tell him? Yeah, that's a Why good question. Just tell him. Be like, that's my brother. Oh, and she did the old turn away, the melodramatic turn away from the, and then he does the walk away and stop. Stop. Turn around. <laughs> you know, I got one more thing to say about this. Step. I'm gonna say Step. it. Step. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. She just says, hold me. Hold me. Oh, no. He's got a boner. Hold and she's Look me. at the look on his face. That's the look of a man who has a boner. And he, just and he has, knows she can feel it right now. It's been like 24 all hours. I'm a bit of a jolly rancher. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about those Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> that works on so many levels. <laughs> Luke. There's an Imperial Walker down there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, kind of walking around. Yeah. Not doing too much. That's actually a wild Imperial Walker. <laughs> this is their Lord's natural habitat. They orphan. harvest them from the forest moon of Endor. <laughs> I love the idea that that's what they're actually doing. With them. <laughs> they capture them, they lasso them, and then they have to break the walkers. Imperial Walker would probably be really ineffective in this planet. Yeah, because of all the damn trees. <laughs> like, it's just like, all it does constantly is getting stuck. That platform over and over. That's all it does. Because it stomped those trees down. <laughs> Maybe it just fires the trees down and then just steps over them. What's up, Dad? How's it going? Hey. You want to have a catch? You talk to your sister. So you know what sin feels like now. <laughs> Good. This is the worst Darth Vader invitation ever. <laughs> good. 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 Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm Darth Vader. Luke, you never call. <laughs> I gave I, you. I know uh, that you're busy and that's fine and all, but I mean, seriously. Could we like have dinner once a month? I like mean, something? I sent you a phone card. <laughs> Did you get that lotto ticket I sent you? <laughs> yes, Dad, I, I did. It was your birthday recently. <laughs> I sent you $5. Well, don't and forget a couple to clean of up scratch the shavings. Shavings. Did you win anything? <laughs> and from the a human jobs? face. <laughs> <laughs> He's evil. I mean, yeah, you know, they were already scratched off scratch offs that he sent. So my my thought here is that he he's kind of shifted to the dark side. He kind of knows it. He's very aware of it. And what's really happening here is he's just come to be killed because mm. he can't. He can't accept that he's a member of the dark side, that he's a part of it now. Um, and his his last ditch effort is maybe he can convert his father. Like, 
you know, one of my one of my friends used to always complain about this movie. I actually really liked this movie until my friend complained about it because he said that the biggest problem with this movie is that Darth Vader is mopey the entire film. <laughs> like he goes from killing somebody by accident in the first movie to being kind of mopey in the third movie. Like he he loses a lot of his his evilness. You know, in the second movie, Empire Strikes Back, he's just, you know, he's killing people left and right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's killing guards, he's killing his, his subordinates, he's killing uh, all kinds of things. And um, he's killing it in his comedy routine on Empire Strikes Back. He did this little stand-up scene in yeah. the Empire. That was great. <laughs> he's killed it. He's and what's the him. deal with Death Star food? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go to the cafeteria, somebody eats the pudding. <laughs> it's you. They call it chicken cacciatore, but it seems more like rat feces. Chicken snatchatore. <laughs> chicken snatchatore. That may need to be edited. <laughs> no, we're going to keep that in. <laughs> That's actually the level of Darth Vader's comedy. That's about yeah. the best no, he's it's, got. It's, it's all groaners. That's all it is. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody laughs because they know that they'll get forced choked if they don't, but, you know. <laughs> At least one person dies every performance. At the same time, like, if you were dead and you just reunited with your son, you're like, hey, you want to rule the galaxy with me? And your son's like, fuck no, I'd rather die than that. You might get a little mopey, too. I think, you know, well, and I, I think the way they built him in episode three, where, like, he kind of reluctantly joins the dark side, you're now, he's been kind of brainwashed for the past maybe 20 years as Luke was growing up. And now Luke has grown up and he's met him and he feels human again and he's confused by that um i do think he should be a little bit nasty in the beginning i don't i don't mind that he's a little mopey in the second act but i think that uh maybe in the first act like when he arrives on the death star and he's all pissed off and he talks to the guy maybe he should have killed that guy yeah maybe um, a little bit more killing at the beginning. yeah a little more a little more of his like bloodlust because i mean you know he, he can be redeemed but He's going to die anyway, so you might as well have him have a little bit of bloodlust still. So one thing that I think is really interesting in this it's film is, right you know, given the whole the whole setup it's that's always there shot. with the Sith of, there's always two. There's the, you know, there's the master and there's the, mm -hmm. the apprentice. Which is stupid, but... Well, the, yes, but, <laughs> you know, that's kind of how it always works, which means that, uh, especially if you if you listen to how he, he posed it in the uh, the previous film, that he wanted to rule the galaxy together with Luke, which is kind of, the subtext is, and we'll off the em emperor, mm -hmm. and it's going to be the two of us. Now, at the same time, given that whole, like, Sith, there's always, you know, just, the, there's always the two, mm -hmm. that seems that with the emperor trying to recruit Luke, that he might have been planning on, you know, that the Darth Vader knows if Luke gets recruited, that means the Emperor is cutting me out and I'm probably doomed. Mm -hmm. So there's this whole weird triangle of, like, the, the two different setups. Mm -hmm. And so either he's going to be killing his mentor and bringing his son on, or he's the one that gets cut out of the mix. So there's, a there's like, sort of a... a the, the collision course that happens when he tosses the Emperor down that shaft... Um, at the end was going to happen one way or another because it well, had to be it had to be one or the two of he them. He said the emperor foresees you killing him. Mm -hmm. Um, which I, I like. Why is the emperor so hell bent on being killed to begin with? <laughs> because because that's you know the emperor or is it always that the you know. I feel like the the writing in the last act is a little on the wonky side because I feel like you could. They should have emphasized that maybe the Emperor's plan always was to kill Darth Vader because Darth Vader is not a particularly good pupil. Mm -hmm. um, he's mutilated beyond you know existence. Basically, he's just a you know kind of a a machine in a suit and like where Luke is like a you know fresh nubile young boy. <laughs> so <laughs> he's a supple, supple young supple young hasn't, Padawan. Hasn't gotten his dick wet yet, you know, it's it's <laughs> quite possibly literally. Um you know he's he's due for a sarlacc pit. So <laughs> I, I don't know whether that Rusty was rancor. was that the Emperor's <laughs> plan <laughs> Uh, I feel like the Rusty Rancor was the name of the massage parlor that old Ben would always Rusty go to. The Rusty Rancor. <laughs> mm. The Sarlacc Pit would be a good name for a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. <Yeah. laughs> I like 
how <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that took in, a second to sort of in, sink in. In the in. past five minutes or so, we've spoken about Darth Vader's stand-up routine, <laughs> comma, a deep analysis of who was gonna kill who because there could only be two Sith, comma. <laughs> Star Wars gay bar themes. I was trying to think of like what sex act we could we could name after the Ewoks. That was also that was also in my head. The moon. Forest Moon. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shame in there. <laughs> Look at Luke. Look at Luke. Look at baby Luke. Ah, he does there we go. He does look really tiny in this. He shot. looks so tiny <laughs> compared to everybody else in this movie. I think it's because he wore form fitting black Mm -hmm. which makes him look thinner than he actually is it makes him look shorter than he actually is and plus like he's right standing right there's a david prowse i mean i don't think luke is or mark hamill i don't think mark hamill is actually like i mean i don't think he's like crazy short but uh, he's not super tall but david prowse is like six three or something six five or something like that so yeah i mean he he only comes up to uh to you know darth vader's shoulder like darth vader has an entire helmet on him i'm gonna go like he's like maybe i don't know five eight to five eleven that was that was about what i was gonna guess five eight is pretty much like um, actors range around according to the internet uh he is five foot nine okay that makes sense yeah celebrityheights.com (laughs) <laughs> nah, just Google. Google will answer it for uh-huh. you. Like you just search for actor's name and height, and it gives you an answer. Harrison Ford is six foot one. Peter yeah. Mayhew, who was uh, a Chewbacca, seven foot two. Wow. Uh, Carrie Fisher, five one. Wow, she's she's, she's tired. Tired. George she Lucas, five seven. Hmm. Same height as my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure all of you wanted to know. <laughs> It's the knee slap that I like. <laughs> I had to put it in. I had to do it again. A Jedi's weapon. I also have one, though. I fought Yoda with it. Yep. Whoop, geez, that, was really, that was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool scene. That was kind of dumb. We threw around some... You're wrong. Soon I'll be dead. Are you with me? Wow, way to give him your plot. Yeah, he's like, I'm like, going to die. I want him to be like right. so braggy that he just gives him the whole like it's like it's like in a Bond film when the villain gives the whole plot before they <laughs> die. Uh, only it's only Luke is doing it. He's like, Oh, well, you're gonna be dead soon because we got guys in the forest moon are gonna shut down the shield so we can blow up your Death Star. Fuck, why did I say all that? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, did you just did you just Jedi or Sith mind trick me? What do you call it when the Sith do it? Pointless to resist my son. The Emperor is hilarious. <laughs> Look at him being and all he makes weird. an excellent chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's that blue finger shit, I'm telling you. I like, I like, once they're done with all their jargon again, I, I want the Emperor just to be like, once again, like, that how's the, how's the pooping problem? <laughs> is it okay? Is it getting better? <laughs> Have some more of my Sorry, I know, I know it's awkward because your son's here and you don't, you know, but... I'm really worried. I'm, it's been I've we're on day five now. That we should not be ashamed of these things. It's no, natural. It's natural. It's just you know. Oh, oh god. <laughs> the emperor only uses the dark red kidney beans in his chili. Why does the emperor's makeup look better here than it does in episode? Three? I was gonna. I was actually like waiting to get a good it's look at his so forehead because it really does look immensely better than you know the yeah. the makeup effects in episode three and that's just disappointing that they couldn't manage to get the same level of like gnarliness yeah mm. really always i loved the idea that like he he's a human man he's not really looking like that that's just like he's so sinister and so vile and basically he channels the dark side of the force throughout the entire galaxy and doing so is what causes him to look that way um it's it's the element of fear he has created in everybody um like that's how much power he's he's using but it's it's coming at a cost obviously he's mutated down but then i look at yoda and i'm like well is that the same with (laughs) With, because yoda kind of looks the same so um maybe palpatine is like a yoda species and like yoda at one point looked like that and then just got smaller and older yoda didn't have enough like calcium. <laughs> Not enough Tomas calcium, I did. <laughs> Stressing the different types of like helmets that they have going mm-hmm. on. It's cool. The green team has these weird, like almost like parka hood looking helmets going. 
speaking alien language. The fork, the foreskin speaks an alien language to Lando Calrissian. Well, you're basically a foreskin. I can't believe I'm taking you seriously. That's a trap. I hope we see Foreskin Man again in the. I know Akbar is going to be in Force Awakens. So that's exciting. All right. I hope he's. I hope they play on the the trap line at least a little bit. <laughs> it's a trap. I know. I don't want to. I, I, I kind of <laughs> want. I don't want it to be like so like ham cocked with like you know. I don't even know whether ham cock's a word. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what this word means, but I like it's it. It's a trap. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I don't want it to be so inundated with um, callbacks to previous. That's one of the best shots in all Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see anything with this pink saran wrap in front of my face. <laughs> yeah, I, there's probably going to be some callbacks, but God, yeah, I was like, gonna say this, some it's... movies just have like too many callbacks and it just drives me nuts. There's going to have to be a little bit of like the fan service of like, you know, giving the nods to the, to the old films that, you know, we'll get those like cheer, cheer moments in the theaters. Just don't but... want it to be like, you know, the prequels where you've got George Lucas basically sitting next to you, nudging you in your side going, eh? Yeah. 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 It's just like Star Wars now. Cause I put, I put Ewoks in the scene. <laughs> I put, uh, see what I did there? I put a little thing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> put a thing in the background out of the front. Yep. Uh, that's what it did. It's Star Wars. Definitely Star Wars. See how he's staring out the window? That was me. That was my that was innovation. Me. That was my innovation. <laughs> I invented that. There he's looking out the window. <laughs> It's always actually kind of driving me nuts on the side of the Emperor. They like, and they must not have, the makeup must have, they must not have done his whole face in the makeup. And there must have been a spot where there was like pink or something like that. Oh yeah, where you can see like around his eyes and all that. Yeah, where it looks like they, they like animated over it. It looks better now than it used to, but I remember when it was on VHS and DVD, I was always like, hmm. Yeah, it always reminded me of one of those things where they did, God, like, creepy. on Conan, where they put the different mouth uh, <laughs> you know, on yeah. a celebrity face and had it speaking. It's like it doesn't quite match up. Yeah. Now, these things make a lot more sense instead of the... Uh, right. No, walkers. yeah, the, the ATST, the chicken walkers, yeah. you could imagine them being able to at Like, least... they can maneuver, they look like they're a little more... You know, they can fit between the trees. Yeah. What's up with the Stormtrooper with a really dirty helmet? <laughs> like, what's he been doing? Sarlacc bit. Sarlacc. <laughs> no, no, it was the, uh, um, the what was it? What was what was the Yoda one? The soggy. Uh, the soggy Dagobah. The soggy the Dagobah. Soggy. There it was. We gotta keep a like a list. Yeah, of we gotta all keep these. a running tally of these. Running tally of all the sex acts we created. Everybody, every who's people <laughs> listening. I hope you guys are enjoying because the Yoda Sutra. <laughs> they're like, what yeah. the hell are you guys doing? You're ruining Star Wars. Everybody ruins Star Wars now. That's all they do. There we go. The Jawa Sutra. Jawa Sutra. <laughs> Jawa the Slut. That could make some money right there, the Jawa Sutra. <laughs> Just sex acts based on Star Wars. Yep. Disney won't be. They'll it's be totally be, fine with that. It's going to be a coloring book. Disney's like, oh, yeah, no, that's yeah, fine. That's, that's fine. fine. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, our lawyers don't agree with you, so we're suing you, but that's fine. I mean, we thought it was funny, but yeah. I mean, it was funny. We all got a laugh. Everybody in the legal department was like, (laughs) that's funny. There were chuckles. (laughs) There were at least a half dozen chuckles. It was a good time. We Googled a lot. We had a good time. We even tried coming some of the acts, but we're definitely suing you. We're also putting out a book. That's the exact same book. <laughs> There's actually um that's legit like uh, uh I was wearing a shirt once a Spock shirt that said like um trek yourself or wreck yourself <laughs> and it's like Spock with like the you know the Spock hands and he's like doing like gang signs with it <laughs> and I love the shirt I bought it at like Walmart years ago and I, I met a guy who was like he's like where'd you get that shirt and I was like oh, I got it at Walmart and he was like I made that design <laughs> and I'm like what and he said that since the fan art is technically illegal yeah um paramount who you know paramount and cbs who own star trek own the rights to the design he created even though he designed it um and because it's illegal instead of just taking him to court they just steal it (laughs) (laughs) and and in, in some ways that's a little bit like almost better that they're like well you know this is really our property that you made this joke about so we're not going to take away, like, we're not going to take you to court and take away all your money. We're just going to start selling this. We're just going to well, start I mean, selling they, your Walmart. They could just say, hey, don't do that. 
And like that would be also an appropriate response. You could see, yeah, you could send a cease and desist letter, um, and that would be it. You know, like generally, a douchebag. <laughs> but I, you know, I think I, you know, I, I think they know there's there's an entire culture of people who make money off of off of fan art. And, oh yeah, and that's, absolutely. I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. Um, though it does bum me out. I wish you know we're getting super serious, but I, you know, I wish it was more like. Uh, people valued original content as much as they valued their franchise content. Well, it was it was interesting. So when uh, the original Jedi Knight game came out, I actually did a lot of work uh, modifying, you know, like making mods for it, creating new skin packs and levels and types dork. of gameplay and all that. That's so dork. Yeah, you know, no, whatever. Um, but <laughs> we have permanently air. geek. Do not condone what you have done. <laughs> <laughs> This is no, a that's actually kind of awesome. Sports show. No, you can still you can still find a lot of that stuff on uh, oh, on the internet. Yeah, if, I remember if the mod community was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. But the interesting thing was due to the uh, the um, Lucas Films and Lucas Arts like their intellectual property controls, they could not condone any of it. Hmm. And the uh, the development team were actually really upset that they weren't allowed to help the mod community at all so uh, uh one of them one uh one of the programmers and i don't uh like it was well known in the community who he actually was but i don't know if there's uh, if saying his name could get him in trouble so i'm not going to um mm -hmm. but one of the programmers went underground and Bob. started releasing <laughs> started releasing the specs on uh what was called cog which was the the scripting language for the jedi knight game like releasing all the specs to those separately mm. leaking them online so that the mod community could have all that to work with and the specs because it was all like proprietary um uh elements the like the the object the 3d object files they used their own like their their own file type for those and so we leaked the specs to those and all of the different operators and and commands in the programming language Put it in the first movie so <laughs> So yeah, it's it, it was that, legit. It was put it in first. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the the intellectual property rights. Like, there's this this whole thing where Lucas Arts can't condone any kind of fan modifications, add-ons, anything like that. Um, so you know, it's this this weird sort of like they appreciate the fact that there's this community that loves them so much that they want to create things. But if they sanction any of it, then it opens the floodgates and. <laughs> Admiral Ackbar's fingers just wobbling around. Like, like, how does this guy function with fingers like that? <laughs> yeah, that kind of that's a bummer. Yeah, but, but you know, it, it, you it can exists. understand it though. If they, yeah, you know, if they started condoning all of that stuff, then that would sort of they'd have to condone. It's always a weird gray area. You know, you go to a comic con and it's just like loaded. It's basically just all illegal stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there's no yep. one's there selling anything that's like legal. Yep. Um, except for people. there are some original stuff there, but you know in general it's 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 the illegal stuff that that tends to the t-shirts the the hell they even have like like legos at a lot of comic cons that are just like not actual legos it's just like bootleg legos i think the lego company actually condone or allows some of that stuff i don't think they license it but like as long as you don't go crazy with like weapons and gore and stuff they're just like leave you alone um yeah i mean there's people that sell like like i have a, a whole series of uh Gal guardians of the galaxy lego figures over there they're all like not they're they're not official figures they're really they look nice. exactly like the official figures huh. um they're just they're made of a cheaper mold uh, you know uh, my one of my friends i'm not gonna mention who he works for but i have a friend who works for a toy company and he said that he had to go to like china <laughs> um oh, this is such a sad scene oh yeah uh, the, the, the ewok's ewok dying dies um and his his friend ewok's like oh he makes he may he he does he like illustrates figures and and then he sculpts them and then they turn them into actual figures and he does a lot of like really pop popular figures and um he said that he started seeing bootlegs of his figures like <laughs> around and they ended up going to to china and um what was happening is their plant that was making the figures at night when everyone would leave and go home, mm -hmm. a whole new crew would come in and use the same molds to make to make the same thing around the bootleg yeah. market. Um, and he says that's that's so common it's frightening. Oh, I believe that. I, like I the same company that's that. making like Foxconn, the same company that's making like iPhones, like is turning around and making like iPhone knockoffs at night. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Well, in, in China, they have, like, complete knockoff Apple stores that mm-hmm. aren't official but look almost exactly like them. And none of the products are actually Apple products. <laughs> oh they God. just look a whole uh, lot like Apple I, products. I feel bad. Like, people, somebody, you know, I had a friend who actually owned a fake iPhone. And it was really... <laughs> <laughs> it's a J phone. <laughs> it, like, it was called. It, it looked exactly like the iPhone four, exactly, um, except for you needed a stylus pen to use it because the, the screen was was plastic, <laughs> and the resolution was like you know VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, like like a knockoff like that that's that bad. I would almost buy it. Just, just, to just have that's it. why oh, she that's, bought yeah. it because she thought it was hilarious. I have she an bought Apple it off a vendor in Newton. like New York, huh? I have an Apple Newton. You see those? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, the like original uh, the, PDA. Yeah, uh, wow. runs yeah. off of AAA batteries. It is awesome. Yeah, they. You know, oh. th- it was an ad- idea way ahead of its time. Uh, <laughs> that was the emperor. Uh, <laughs> That's his weird uh, pervert yeah. laugh. I'm the emperor. <laughs> yeah, actually, my next record is going to be released among other things in Lego format. So, yeah. yeah, there you go. Good times. It's pretty rad. Star Wars Episode Six. Turn of the Jedi. Oh, yeah, we're watching a movie. <laughs> People forgot. are like, oh, I'm turning off, like, turning off. These guys are just talking now. Yeah, just not, they're not even watching the movie. Well, you know, there's a lot of spectacular action. Actually, some of the best action in the entire franchise is, is all combined into this like kind of fantastic why we're finale. not paying attention right now. <laughs> it's so good. We just We've made so many comments about the effects and about, you know, this is this is the sixth one of these contracts we've done. <laughs> And we're not. Done and yet, we're not that we have three more movies to do. Um, well, you guys, you guys will probably not be on the uh, the Ewok commentaries. But... <laughs> oh yes, just because we're done with the Star Wars legacy does not mean we're done with the Star Wars legacy. And yeah. then we're gonna do commentaries on every single episode of the Clone Wars. <laughs> No, no, ah, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I actually did think like it would be really funny to do commentaries on like the entire Star Trek TV series. <laughs> Every episode. Every episode, there'd be like there'd, we would never run out of commentaries. Wow, just be, I would be so bored. That sounds. I'm I'm exhausted just thinking yeah. about that. Though idea. I would like to do, um, you know, for you folks out there, a little sneak preview. I would like to do maybe like. Uh, It'd be like a month where we pick like our favorite episodes of Star Trek. Okay. And we we do one commentary each week for for one episode of the show. I'd be down with that because I really like. I would I absolutely be down to that. Really want to do some Star Trek ones after doing all these Star Wars ones, though. I'm going to take some time in between to do something that <laughs> doesn't have star in the title. <laughs> um. I like the Ewoks. Ooh. Like the the stormtroopers are so inefficient that the Ewoks beat them with rocks and rope. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> like it's not even you know which i you know i've heard that this is supposed to be a bit of a vietnam parable um, okay about know, how the organized military was was you completely know, flanked by by guerrilla warfare by guerrilla warfare and, yeah. people who who knew the terrain better than they did um that's completely believable that mm-hmm. that would be the intention here because it also feels a little like you know american indian war kind of thing like mm-hmm. you know again Again, like somebody who knows the terrain and knows how to, like, it doesn't matter how much technology you have or anything like that. It's it's really a more about, you know, how well you know the area and how clever you actually are. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a it's a brilliant parable for this to have the and um, this is you know the I love you I know reverse which is great. <laughs> um, but like I, I I love that that Leia is like completely make up up here. Like she's yeah, got she's, she's got she's, rouge on. She's, she's got, nines right now. Yeah, she's, she's looking she's spiffy. Got a lot of makeup on. I, I I do love like you know that they're like there's again this is one of those things where like Lucas, the the claim is that Lucas was thinking all about toys with this, but conversely, the fact that it's little Ewoks that defeat the biggest army in the entire universe is and, awesome. you know it's it's the David versus Goliath mm-hmm. thing emphasized to the the nth degree, and it I mean it. The, it is inarguably a lot of fun to watch the uh, the Ewoks versus stormtroopers mm-hmm. and and the ATST Walker scenes. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Uh, he hasn't pooped in five days, so <laughs> it won't flow through him. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> flowing through him. <laughs> he has got a problem. It's a big one. <laughs> I told him just stick the lightsaber up there. Just burn Clear it out it right out. Twist it. Clear. Clear. <laughs> this is a great set. I really love the the 
the finale mm-hmm. set of this film. And I like I like how similar it is to the throne room in the the you know uh, the previous film. Like in uh, was it, was that in episode three? No, 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 no. The uh, the one where was that in Cloud City that that he yeah did that yeah that where the, Han was frozen in carbon? yeah with yeah. with the window shapes and all that. Mm-hmm. There's some the really symmetry s- is really similar, mm-hmm. which is interesting because in theory Cloud City shouldn't have had a you know throne room type space. What what are these like things like or like there's like these little like fake computery things? Like, I what, feel like we saw what is everything. I, in I this feel room? like we saw something like that where where there were people <laughs> like, standing in the center of those that? like working all the consoles and yeah. But yeah. like, why is that even there? Why even have that in this room? Like, this is supposed to be the throne room for the emperor. So mm-hmm. why like why are there consoles that do shit in here? I mean, what does the emperor do in his throne room? Just like chill i mean he's gotta like be google yeah he, stuff. he netflix he netflix yeah. and chills it a lot um he's a really big fan of empire Ooh, he watches yeah. that uh, <laughs> i was angry when they took down he's Carmine also really, he's also really into that master of none show that that's true he's, he really loves he, he's he's an aziz ansari fan he's an aziz he really likes the wet hot uh, american summer first day of camp he was, mm. That was a big one that he was really into. And um, Narcos. And my God, Scandal. Narcos. The <laughs> Empire, the Emperor can't get enough of Scandal. <laughs> you know, really anything with Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington. He's, he's just a sucker. He's a big and fan. And all of the Shonda Rhimes like, series. Like, he's just all about it. And those. all the Busta Rhymes series. He's really into Busta. <laughs> Busta Rhymes. He'll watch anything with Busta, which is probably why he likes Master of None. There we Busta go. Busta Rhymes appears in that. I haven't gotten to that episode yeah, yet. Yeah, there's yeah. a Busta Rhymes. Ugh, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> oh, wait until you see it. Busta Rhymes. If you're listening, and I know you are, Busta, um, why don't you Busta move over to Cleveland and uh, do a commentary with us? We'll watch Halloween uh, Resurrections. So, so why do these guys come out as reinforcements unarmed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, these... D- <laughs> it's like arriving like it's like a firefighter arriving a to the wolfens. fire with no water no no outfit no he's just like oh shit there's a fire here <laughs> i didn't uh, realize that damn that's oh, hot damn. like okay why are these consoles under the like they're like under yeah the architecture uh, of this room is a little bit strange because i remember sense. in in uh i, I think not was... fight you dad uh, it was the Mysteries of the Sith add-on to that Jedi Knight game I was talking about. Uh, one of the multiplayer levels was in the throne room. It was like, what is all this space underneath? Like, why is this set up this way? What is the function of these areas? Yep, doesn't make any sense. No, nope. it looks cool, though. It looks it's really a, cool. I cool love that blue. Mm-hmm. The, the look on Luke's face, like, really kind of seals the idea that he might actually be he completely descended to the dark side. Like, look at his eyes, the mm-hmm. intensity in his eyes, the, the kind of pathos that's coming from that. It's really great. Good work. Now his failure is complete. Obi-Wan is a failure. <laughs> that's a shame. No. Yeah. Nah, he didn't fail. He won in the end until the force awakens comes out and everything gets <laughs> done again. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Well, you know, we'll find out. We'll, we'll find, find out. out. We'll find out. I'm not going to see it. Well, I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> I'm not that excited about. The Wait Force for Awakens. Netflix. Yeah. yeah. No, Michael and I recently went to go see uh, Spectare in the theater, <laughs> and uh, there was a trailer for Star Wars before Spectre played, and um, it was really actually the whole theater was like this. So, you know, the trailer plays, and then as soon as as soon as the trailer ended, you could hear everyone in the theater go. <laughs> like everyone yeah. was not we breathing, were all just like holding our breath the entire trailer. Because it just looks big, you yeah. know. I hope it doesn't. God, suck. I hope it's God, not I hope bad. It suck. I I saw a video this morning of how Ooh. a theater responded when they first saw the trailer for Episode One, and it makes me worry mm-hmm. <laughs> because everyone was mm-hmm. so excited about that too. Oh like, yeah, it was cheering great. and yeah. Now that that's probably one of the great film disappointments, just because you know you're you're expecting it to at least be the caliber of the Star Wars movie, and it just it just wasn't. I mean, am I a Jedi? Holy shit, I'm a fucking Jedi! <laughs> Holy shit, it's fucking Armstead. I'm a Jedi. Oh, thank God! Thank God, I thought I was living Armstead. Whew, never, never, never. I'm a Jedi now. I'm a fucking Jedi. But maybe he is on the dark side. Maybe he's just telling him he failed. 
Yeah, the thing is, like, he's saying that, but he always has struck me as, like, striking a really creepy vibe when he's saying that you'll never turn me. Yeah. Like, look at his face right now. Oh, like, yeah. That doesn't Trying look to convince like... himself. Yeah. yeah, it feels more like he's talking to himself. Harrison Ford was supposed to die in this movie. Not the actual person, but... <laughs> there, were, there were assassins on set that were trying to rig everything. They tried again on this new one. Georg and... Lucas was trying to kill him. <laughs> Georg <laughs> Lucas. You know, they rigged the Millennium Falcon to fall on him in the new movie. <laughs> Still didn't take him out. Someone Still sabotaged his plane. <laughs> crashed a fucking yeah, That guy is like the Energizer course. Bunny. Yeah, exactly. Like, Final they're destination. still trying to kill yeah. him. He avoided death in this film, and it's still it's still trying to track him down. Watch what I can do. Just hands! <laughs> He's like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Young fool. Who could have been my bitch? now at least oh, at least I'll his lightning hands are more convincing than uh, than jessica alba in the, the fantastic four movie oh my god every <laughs> every scene that jessica alba every time she has to do anything with visual effects jessica alba kind of uh, act remember when she things. was in dark angel and was awesome nope she wasn't even good on that show <laughs> the show i like though that was one yeah the show is all right but she's always been like she's really pretty but she's always been kind of on the sucky side she's gotten better i think over years because because she's she's worked on long you know she's gotten a little more pedigree behind her but mm. i saw yeah her you know i was hands. i was a teenager when dark angel came out so it might have just been that <laughs> she was hot and it was a cool post-apocalyptic show uh-huh I, I, I haven't I haven't revisited it in a long time, so yeah, it's my, probably my not <laughs> worth it. It's yeah. probably not worth it. You will but, die. But eyes oh, only yes. was the dude in the wheelchair. Mm. Yes, you will die. God, I love killing people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the gives best. me a jolly ranch. Oh, <laughs> it gives me a jolly ranch. <laughs> jolly ranch. Right? It's a good four days. Shoot of jolly blue ranch. shit out of it. And now, one of the most climactic moments ever will be ruined by Darth Vader saying no. <laughs> we got it, George. Yeah, we no, we figured it out. We fucking got it. We figured it out. No. No! God. That's the, every fan in the universe is screaming no right now. I really yeah. hope Disney puts out a version that doesn't have the no. Yeah. It. It's God. Like that, it's they they can awful. do whatever they want to this without without George Lucas's say, right? They I don't think I don't know whether they can actually. Uh, they they can't. I don't know what their con re-edit. So wait, if there always has to be two dark side people, and he just killed one of them, well, that was his it, like turning from the dark side right there, like you know that was his going so, against. So that. now there's zero dark side people. Yeah, in theory, theoretically, balance has been restored to the Force. There is only one Jedi left. And well, that doesn't sound technically very his sister. Balanced. That sounds like everybody's standing on one side of the seesaw. Well, uh, it, you know, the evil of the universe that's been kind of plaguing the universe for the past thirty years is finally gone. See, see, here's the thing. There was always that that prediction. It's like no. when the Trump campaign finally disappears. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be balanced and be like, all right, I don't like any of you these mean Republican when people. He's sworn in as president. Oh my god. <laughs> when you mean after after he wins his second term? Oh. God. <laughs> Secretary you live, of Defense. You ben live in Carson. the alternate time. You, <laughs> you live in the dystopian future where Donald Trump is president and Jessica Alba is is you know in Dark Jessica Angel. Alba's gonna have nothing to do with Donald Trump. I'm just gonna point that one out right now. <laughs> um, just because I'm, I'm blaming Donald Trump for the existence of the Dark Angel future. Like uh, that, that's what triggers it. Any uh, Donald Trump fans out there? Um, Go away. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seriously. It's okay if you like him, but uh, we're getting too political. It's getting all dark side up in here. <laughs> Good. It sucks dick. I can feel the hate <laughs> flowing through your veins or something. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really weird thing to have, you know, kind of this sort of dystopian Star Warsian tale coming at the same time as something kind of like a really weird kind of angered political movement that's happening like a let's get 
people out of our country that yeah. we don't like and don't yeah. feel comfortable with and it's yep. like ee that's hitlery yeah that's there's what some really this is based on things right. that are happening <laughs> in uh Ooh, politics right now yeah those guys probably just if you're listening to this explosive decompression if you're listening to this in the year to, which there wouldn't be fire then um <laughs> It would be probably like snow coming out as the fire immediately turns <laughs> yeah. into ice. That's true. Um, same thing with that. There would just be a plume of snow coming yep. out of the ground. <laughs> yep. um, but anyway, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But anyway, like no one's helping him. <laughs> <laughs> no one's like stopping to help Darth Vader. <laughs> They're just like, oh, no, 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 yeah. no oh, Luke's got him. him. That's good. That's Screw good. Him. That's oh, yeah, good. That guy, that guy he's, that... he's got it handled. He's got like a face breather thing. He's fine. He's fine. It's fine. Plus, he took my pudding last week in the cafeteria. <laughs> Did you see this guy stand up? <laughs> Trying to tell jokes. It was improv. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. He asked for a place and a theme, and everything was always Death Star and Dark Side. <laughs> he said Snatchatory, and it wasn't funny. <laughs> oh that was the God. best thing you ever said was Snatchatory. <laughs> Snatch <laughs> I thought Statutory could have been a better joke, but he said Snatchatory. <laughs> His band is Snatchatory Rope. <laughs> <laughs> they play Cantina songs. <laughs> Everyone's just terrible. Everyone's just like clapping, like, oh, this is terrible. I said, okay. You're fucking close. Even though, so even though I know that he's he's Luke's father, and you know, since we've seen the prequel trilogy, we know that he's been a white guy all along. I was still really surprised. Yeah. When you take the helmet off, and it's a like it's an egg doughy head. looking white dude. It's like an egghead man. That's like <laughs> really weird. Like he looks like an egg because he's he's so like he's so pasty white, and then you know they got makeup all over him. I really wish it was just James Earl Jones. It would have been great <laughs> right. for Luke to be like, no, seriously, that, okay. The, the first time All I, right. I watched this, I expected it to be James Earl Jones' face when it came off. I like, did not know that about myself, Casey but that's White interesting. Dude. That explains a lot of things. That explains All my right. penis. Right. <laughs> Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it explains a lot. <laughs> yes, man. I'm your dad. I look like a Hallmark card. <laughs> Because he's like so sweet. When they pull him, he's like this sweet guy. It's like one of those precious moments figurines. Uh, <laughs> a little porcelain Anakin. Oh, Luke, you saved him, but now you might be a member of the dark side. Yeah, so you that. could be on the bad side of things, but you're on the good side of things. But you could be on the bad side. You could be on the bad side. Now I'm I'm still going with the theory that that he trained Han uh, ha and Leia's son, and that's that's who Kylo Ren is. We'll find out. If we'll we're find wrong. out. If Maybe we'll do a video where we just talk about all the shit we got wrong. I love <laughs> this be, shot when I come that to that. Yeah, like, if we could com compile all of the predictions and thoughts we had for The Force Awakens from all of these commentaries. I'm not doing that because that's going to take so long. <laughs> I'm going to listen to all. It's like 10 hours of this now. <laughs> Man, oh shit. I, I said this. I'm not going to go back and listen to it again. Oh come on. Man. I'll listen to it, but I'm going to listen to it three or four times. <laughs> um. If someone else wants to make a, a list of all of the incorrect predictions that we made, put it in the comments. We should just do a video where we just make predictions. Because I actually saw um, Red Letter Media put out like one that was just like, it was 40 minutes of them just like speculating. I think, I think they called it like poorly speculating about, <laughs> like just, just a speculative. There's so much speculation. I, you know, I get really annoyed when I see like, like, you know, people that should be legitimate journalists writing speculative articles mm -hmm. about what Star Wars is going to be. And it's just like, this isn't journalism. This is just, this is what fans do. Yep. Yeehaw, we just came out of the Death Star's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it the old Sarlacc pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And with it, Star Wars is forever over. There will never be another Star Wars never film. Never be another Star Wars There'll Never movie. be another Star Wars film every year. <laughs> For the rest of our lives now. Like, ten years from now, we're going to be like, fucking Star Wars, man. They God just damn, are they putting them. out another Star Wars movie? It's even getting like that with the Marvel movies. I'm just sort of like, ugh. Do all of them need to be combined? I don't, like, ugh. <laughs> They're fun, but, God, I'm getting a little getting a little fatigued here. Franchise fatigue. I mean, they're getting like I'm. I, I'm a comic book fan, and and in some of the spinoffs and characters and things they're bringing in, like I'm starting to even be like, wait, who is that? Who are we? Who are we dealing with? Whoa. On the other yeah. hand, it's uh, um, 
you know, it's fun having all this content for things that we like. So, you know, there's... I love the, you know, the Marvel movies are great. Um, generally. Uh, yeah, for, for the most part. For the most part, like, there's, like, you know, some of them that are, like... They're know, not all not amazing, so <laughs> but, but on the whole, like, if you take take the, the like, long view of it, they've done a pretty impressive thing oh, it's, with, it's, with all of these It's films. groundbreaking. It's kind of amazing. Uh, my only problem is just, like, uh, I'm recently been just getting kind of, like, tired of franchises, you know? Mm. Everyone's trying to franchise, and it seems like, okay. Franchise right. fatigue. A little franchise fatigue. I'm getting a little like, okay, all right, yes, I know, franchise is cool. Uh, I think there's too many superhero movies because I don't even know. We haven't even really started yet because DC hasn't even really begun. Yeah, yeah, DC's still still got a lot it's got to bring to the table. Like the Batman versus Superman that's going to be coming out. That's sort of the. Now, what's that about? Um, Wonder Woman. Okay. Or at least she shows up for like five seconds in the trailer with absolutely no explanation of why she's there so i assume she's Ooh, the focus of the see, film i'm you not the dead i'm not dead oh shithead <laughs> he's like the dog that knows in the i've seen some buried. speculate that he buried him and then he burned the suit mm. um, but then they do the whole thing with like in episode one with um qui-gon being burnt and yeah then they have i think it's supposed a to young be little a boy Jedi watch a man being funeral. burnt <laughs> And then not expect him to become a member of the dark side. So here's the alternate <laughs> ending. Uh, special edition ending with all the different cities that we some have seen some of the cities in the movies. <laughs> not seen some of them. Others, like Coruscant, was like, you know, I think they added Naboo. Okay. Um, might be one. I think this is Tatooine. I don't know yeah, why people are Tatooine there. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's Naboo. There's some Jar Jar characters that made it into Yeah, I feel, I feel like on Tatooine, they might be a little bit iffy. Like, yeah, we, we, you know, we made We've been making right a lot out. of money off we've of We've been doing all right <laughs> out here on the fringes. We a lot of smuggling that we do, and we've been getting happy. by just fine. We pay off the stormtroopers. It's all good. <laughs> it's like new statue. Wow, it's kind of crazy this happened on New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it's true. There's just Ewoks sitting by fires all throughout. Singing in Ewokie is a completely different song, and so the dancing doesn't quite match anymore. Oh, they changed the song? The song is different from, from the the 80s film, which it, it, it's like, yub, nub, dun, 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 dun. it's like that. It's like that cadence. And um, what's really weird because the original song kind of ends with them kind of it sounds like they're singing celebrate the lord <laughs> <laughs> they're like celebrate the lord yeah that's <laughs> the like, one that i know like that's the melody that this is in my head this Glasses. one's more like somber and um it's it's not bad i i, I like the other one a little better because it feels a little more organic mm-hmm. um but i think they they changed the song because there was different there's little vignettes of the different places that you know you go throughout the series and you get to see all the people celebrating. Though once again, it makes no sense that people on Tatooine are celebrating. Right. Why do they even know about it? Yeah. Like, how do they know uh, what's going on right now? <laughs> Some TV show. Like even mm-hmm. Naboo. Like news. I don't really think Naboo has anything to do with the Empire after the events of the prequel trilogy. Like why would there be people like just, you know, oh, and there's there's Hayden Christensen just perfectly flawlessly edited into the film, even though <laughs> the resolution on his image looks slightly different than everybody else's. Also, he looks like a fucking creeper. Yeah. What are you doing, pervy boy? He still looks like he wants to. He looks like he wants to bang his daughter in that. Like he was giving Leia the creepy eyes. (laughs) But there we go. That was the Star Wars uh, original trilogy. (laughs) And we finish off with a comment about how Anakin looks like he wants to bang his daughter. Um, that was that was nice for me to say. Right I didn't really understand the, the closing credits. <laughs> I didn't really understand why they did the Anakin thing um, up until they announced the new film. So I was like, oh, that makes sense because you could have Hayden Christensen being a Force ghost um, and talking to Luke. Well, I've, um, I've also told you the story about my friend who shared all of these movies with his kid and seeing yeah, that that Anakin was, that was showing satisfying. up at the end was that was really important for his kid to see. Like mm-hmm. that's the Anakin we knew. That was the one who you know was supposed to be the hero and turned bad, and now he's back. So, so you know, having seen all of these now, uh, kind of in order, you know, watching them in in close sequence. I can understand that because that was what he was like right before he completely turned. Now, it's Hayden kind of Christensen a weird, was was looking uber creepy there, but it's kind of a weird decision to make. 
because Luke doesn't know what he looks like. Yeah. And so he's like, cool, yeah, Yoda's here, and Obi-Wan's here, and then... Who's that young who's dude? Who's that guy? Hi. Ooh. Who are you again? Are you... Oh, you're my dad. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Why are you younger now? That's weird. Because Obi-Wan's the same age as he was when he died, and <laughs> Yoda's the same age as he was when he died, and then yeah, there's... You should be kind of like Puffy Marshmallow. You got like a... <laughs> I saw you, you kind of look like the Stay Puff Marshmallow I'm man. confused right now. I don't really... I love though that you know you've got them like everyone's partying and then there's 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 um Luke just off kind of staring off into the distance and seeing these ghosts mm-hmm. and she, Leia has to kind of bring him back and I think that's the implication that you know back in the day this felt like closure now with the new series it doesn't so much feel like closure it feels like this is the beginning of Whoa! Someone's name was Deep Roy. Deep Roy, you know? Oh who yeah, Deep yeah, Roy yeah. Is? Deep Roy was the. He was also. He played all of the Oompa Loompas in the, in the uh, remake. He, Are the you guys serious? Of, or is this a tag team joke? No, 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 no. no. Legitimately, Roy. Deep Roy is an actor. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's Indian. Awesome. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a uh, Indian ah. little person, but not not like the the. Uh, he just looks like a very very small person. Like his proportions are that of a normal human that's deep being. Roy. he was also in an oh. x-files episode the one with the the little dude on the cart that was like He's... climbing inside people's bodies you ever see the never-ending story huh yeah you know the star trek uh um reboot the jj abrams movies uh-huh he's the um scotty's like friend like the, oh yeah uh, he's deep roy's deep been in roy. so know. much stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> learn something every day wow, don't you? yeah so yeah, this was a uh, Return of the Jedi. It's uh, uh, too long, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, Deep Roy was in uh, the season eight, episode ten uh, episode of X Files. He was the the yeah the creepy Wait, little dude. Season eight is that before? That's after. Is that, are those away, the dog right? ears? <laughs> yes, I believe those. Yeah, were yeah, the, yeah. Well, I stopped before. I stopped before by then. <laughs> You're like, all right, all right. Well, we're going. We're moving on to a different guy. I don't know who this guy is. Um, I mean it. It did still have Scully in it, but it was definitely the dog eight years. Yeah. Maybe we'll do some X Files episodes too. I'd be willing to, to pick a, a favorite episode out. and do a commentary. Yeah. yeah. When when's the new one come out? I don't know. I thought January. January okay. I think, I think it actually seen. might even premiere like on my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank have you. some X Files. Yeah. A couple months from now. <laughs> Alright, well, you know Joe Johnson. We don't, we don't know when these are art be director released. visual effects. Um, well, I know when they, when this one's going to be released. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know when they're going well, to listen. Well, I don't know when your birthday is. Oh, I don't, you know, folks at home. Anything could happen. <laughs> People are like, you guys really didn't talk about Star Wars at all. Oh, hey, Chris Evans was a matte painting artist on this. So <laughs> yeah. that's so what that's happened. So that's what happens. He they go and star Captain in Super America. War movies. Oh. That's what happens when you can't make money painting, uh, you know, matte paintings anymore. You just you... become a handsome young actor. Yeah. All right. So it's not as bad as we thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> They're not stuck in Olive Gardens painting the fake uh, frescoes. No, they probably are. I don't want to paint one more damn gondolier. There, there's probably a lot of set painting that still happens. I'm sure a lot of the mat artists are still working, but I hope they are. Because they were fantastic. Guys, who you work on the mat. Yeah, everybody who did work on visual effects here. Um, I mean, one, most of them, most everybody who worked on visual effects here kind of went on to do cool shit. But two, everybody who worked on this did a great job. This is a, These movies are, are amazing. They're they're amazing little movies, even if they have their flaws. Whatever, I don't yeah, care. You they're know. great. Um, if your name is Dirk Beer and you become a stunt performer, that's like sort of a no. It's Dirk Johan Beer. <laughs> Dirk Beer. He okay, like, went by Dirk nothing, Yo Beer. Dirk Yo Beer. There's nothing he could be but a stunt person. <laughs> like, can you imagine? You have Dirk beer, beer in your name. The philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk Beer, the like Taylor. They didn't credit Hayden. Maybe they will at the end. Hayden Christensen is not credited at all. Huh? He's playing young Anakin. You think they would have put that in there? What if he gets paid for this movie at all? <laughs> they actually just took some creepy footage of him from one of the other movies. He was actually just it. looking at Natalie Portman's ass, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, they filmed that right now." Yeah, yeah, that's good. Get that. That's get a that good look that. for Darth Vader at the end, <laughs> looking at his son all creepy. Negative supervisor, you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> keep, God, up, you, keep up the good work. Duh, I guess. What, God, what the hell? This What's wrong, be man? Terrible. Nothing. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> God. 
uh, interview process for negative supervisor. So what what could you bring to this job? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be both it. I'm terrible. <laughs> what do you feel your strong suits are? I don't even own a suit. <laughs> Spades. <laughs> That was a bad one joke right there, too. Rep three. <laughs> one three. time I got a math problem right. It turns out I did it wrong. Though. <laughs> I bet my kidneys would be good when I die. My parents Just told me I'm terrible. Donate my eyes or something. <laughs> there it is. Just the, I've got cataracts. The credits. They won't even let me be an organ donor. I'm <laughs> 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 reality it's just the guy who makes sure the film negative doesn't get like don't destroyed. destroy my dreams <laughs> I, fi- I figured that that wasn't like an actual person's I, job to just be I like i thought i found my new career <laughs> no i want if I ever make movies, I'm going to hire somebody who's just a bummer on the set. <laughs> just, like just your job is to be the most negative person. <laughs> but the cookies on the craft services table were shitty, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of shitty, I, I got the shits right turkey. now. Don't go in the bathroom. <laughs> Terrible. We're out of matches. From this morning's cheese table. <laughs> craft services. More like crap services. Yeah. <laughs> That was also one of Isn't one your of wife the head of craft services? No, yeah. She's my ex wife. She used to now. be my ex wife. She yeah. says I'm a bit of a downer. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is over, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Credits have ended. We're back to the looping menu oh, screen. Oh, this was this one was all over the place, but I liked it. Yeah, no, you know. <laughs> we hope you guys at home liked it too, because we had a lot of fun doing absolutely absolutely we we may we may make fun of these movies but we love them dearly well alex i don't know he's probably the first time you've ever seen this one uh (laughs) i i think it's yeah i've not seen this one before okay yeah well you know that's good but i mean it's truly truly a classic and i really do enjoy the movie you know it's got its little (laughs) no one's listening at this point they've all turned on like like, god you were talking about (laughs) negative supervisors for like five minutes i'm done i was done the second you started reading the crawl in an offensive language (laughs) 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 oh but uh, this concludes today's episode of commentary time um thanks a lot for joining us thanks really a lot appreciate it. if you made it this far you made it all the way you through deserve a medal um if you made it all the way through congratulations if you didn't make it all the way through you're not listening right now so fuck you you know <laughs> we never liked you anyway <laughs> It's probably um, okay it's probably, it's probably deserves nobody it. probably listened all the way through <laughs> but up? um <laughs> <laughs> be sure to check out our other commentaries we've done star wars episodes one star wars episode two star wars episode three star wars episode four star wars episode five and star wars episode six that's the one you're listening to right now we're also doing two ewok films the live action films which and... i believe are called battle of endor and caravan of courage and, and... we're going to be doing the much loved <laughs> class is, christmas is, class everyone is, hated is, it is loved really the word <laughs> I love it. But no one else loves But we're going to be doing this Star Wars holiday special around Christmas time. I cannot time. wait for that. I'm um, so excited. Then we'll be taking a little break. Permanently, we'll be taking about a month break. And then we'll be coming back in February with um, not Star Wars content. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just going to watch other movies that have Star in the name. We're going Actually, to watch Starsky and Hutch. We're probably going to have a Batman <laughs> commentary going up in February. Where we're going to have uh, some Superman stuff you know, for the Batman versus Superman uh I know some movie that some art film that Michael wants to talk about, so we're going to be doing that. So, <laughs> did you just call Starsky and Hutch an art film? No, I call Batman and versus Superman an art. Oh, film. Batman versus some Superman. obscure art film that Michael wants to work on. And <laughs> really no one's ever seen. I, missed no one's that. Ever I thought we were still talking about Starsky and Hutch. Stupid character named Batman. I'm scared of Batman. a bat. They just eat fruit all the time. <laughs> It's about uh, this naturalist that really likes bats. He goes out into the jungle and studies bats. It's like the but his parents man. die. <laughs> it's, exactly. It's like fucking grizzly, it's man. grizzly man. But but about a guy who likes bats. Just commentary on grizzly man. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> yes. No. Maybe. <laughs> it's not nice to mock the dead, Alex. Oh, it's not yeah, nice to he's, mock the dead. He's not around anymore. That's a shame. All right, folks. Uh, be sure Werner to check Hertz. us on the net. Werner Herzog is the director of that. <laughs> Mm. Who's who's got the greatest voice ever? But he really does. He speaks so pretentiously. It's just like, we will move through the dreams of 
your fingers and you're just like what are you saying what, what are you saying your words Werner are Herzog? touching me inappropriately <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he's amazing i love Werner Herzog. uh make some good movies anyway uh this concludes today's commentary time uh, if you want to follow us on twitter i'm randy you can follow me at rl schaefer writes michael you can find me on twitter at michael mcf music <laughs> alex at simul alex on twitter <laughs> Be sure to f- he tweets so much it's all like, the time. Yeah. God, he's just he tweeted. He sent out like four hundred tweets. My life just while we is were. a series of one hundred and forty or less characters. <laughs> just, just, just bits of philosophy. Constant, yeah. constant. He's, he's the next uh, Andrew WK. He's your, you know, he's your party philosopher. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So you know, follow us if you like us. Um, follow us if you don't like us. Uh, <laughs> follow us if you don't. If you're just like you just randomly kicked into this part portion of the commentary. Like, How that happened? I you don't just, know. You, you like in. you like to follow people. <laughs> you sure to follow. Tried to torrent the Star Wars movie and you get this. <laughs> you follow get this. us if you're not a leader. <laughs> so follow us if you're not a leader. <laughs> yeah, All right. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This concludes today's wonderful episode of Commentary Time. We will catch you on the next commentary. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Alex, you want to say goodbye? No, good. Good. Goodbye. (laughs) Good. That was really good. That was classic. It came from the heart. Classic. Right here. (laughs) He's pointing to his penis. (laughs) My Jolly Rancher. (laughs) All right, I'm going to go get I'm going to go get a starlight.